Okay. <clears throat> Hey everybody, how's it going? Let's see if we got this position. How's everybody doing tonight? Got this position right. How is it going? What up? The force is strong. How's it going? I am live on YouTube as well right now. Nice. How's everybody doing tonight? Let me know if there is something that you guys want me to start this off with. What up, B-Scythe? How's it going? A Pink Victory, how's it going? Chris, how's it going? Mikachu, how's it going? Hey, Lava Man, how's it going? All right, so testing out a new little setup here. I got this little extender here so that we can actually get the, the pop above the chat line so that we can actually see what we're, what we're actually showing off here. So, um, like I said, most of these pops, actually, well, all these pops are going to be out of box. Um... But most of these pops are kind of older. A couple newer ones, but mostly older. So I don't know if there's something you guys want me to start off with, and I will pull it up for you. But right now we have Merciless Batman on here. He's going to be one of our pops that we auction off tonight as well. Wait for a couple more people to get in here. We'll kick this off at about 8.05. What up, Danny Boy? How's it going? JEC Ryder, how's it going? Alright, let me see y'all. Stay lit, what's happening? Let me see if we can get... Which Mickey? Oh, the talking Mickey you're talking about? The Force is strong? Can you hear me good over there? You can hear me good? Because I think my volume was turned down. What up, DNJ Pops? What up, Zach? How's it going? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that Talking Mickey's sick. It's got its own auction. It's just going to be that Talking Mickey, and that's it. <clears throat> I don't know. I'll, I'll see. I'll see tonight what options it gives me in regards to time extensions, and we'll see if that's going to be something that um, can be extended to maybe 20 minutes or something like that. So tonight we got we got sealed shirts, Funko shirts, we got out of box pops, we got minis, tons of minis. Um, we have a Freddy Funko Funko Shop exclusive advent calendar. There is the sticker there. We got some new hats. We got some sealed Target Con shirts. We got Funko cereals. Funko cereals, and we got we got some hats. I got a hat from the collector core box from uh, Gears of War, and I also have one for Caddyshack. And we got a boy, so we got a bunch of minis blasting them out tonight. That's for sure. What up, Mr. Beard? How's it going, Death Dealer? How's it going? <coughs> Spider Gwen, nice. That there is Spider Gwen right there. Check that out. What up, Death Dealer? What up, JC? How's it going? All right, about another minute. We're gonna kick this off. We'll put our first one up here. Let me know if there's any of these you want me to start off with. If there is anything that interests you, in the bottom right corner here is a little ticket. You can press that, and you can see anything that I have available tonight. I can run the Predator, yeah. We can start with Predator for sure. Let me pull him out. There is Predator. <clears throat> All right. We'll get Batman off there for now. And we'll get Predator loaded up. All right. Here is... Now, this is going to be OG Predator. Let me see if I can hook this dude. I might need to actually swap out heads for a second. Because he's so fat. All right. Here is OG Predator. We'll see if there is OG Predator. Let me pull him up. 
How's everybody doing tonight? We are broadcasting on YouTube as well. Now, this Predator is from 2014. Again, add a box. We'll start it off at a minute um, or one dollar and one buck. One minute, one dollar. Uh, tonight, the only things that I have in box are going to be t shirts, um, cereal, the advent calendar. Everything else is out of box. That's kind of the theme of this auction tonight. It's just going to be basically out of box stuff. So you can scoop up some deals here, especially if you make one purchase, you get combined shipping. So I think you can bind up the four four items together. So you only pay shipping once for that, which is great. So like I said, 2014 Predator. This is the OG Predator from the movie. This actually goes in the Predator line with uh, Dutch Schaefer and then the Predator coming um, visible from his invisibility cloak. So we got some cool stuff tonight, though. Some OG stuff. We got an old school Doc Brown. We got Ghost from Game of Thrones. Ash from the Evil Dead. We got Rick Grimes. Rick Grimes, stay lit, taking the Predator. Nice. All right, we'll pop him off. And like I said, if there's something you guys want to see, let me know, and we will run it. All right, let's pop up another one here. Let's do, we'll do Beetlejuice. So if there's anyone particular that you guys want to see, let me know in the chat. I will catch up as soon as I get this one put up there. Here is OG Beetlejuice. 2011 Beetlejuice. <clears throat> OG. We'll start it out for one minute, one dollar. Uh, blue one you had up... Did you auction up the blue one? The Batman? No, I did not. But if you want me to run the Batman, I can run it for you. Uh, tonight, the cereals I got is Nuka Cola Girl, Vault Boy, uh, Cheer Bear from the Care Bears. Uh, we got Scooby Doo, Slimer from Ghostbusters, and I got Super Conan from SDCC 2019. Uh, it's him ripping his shirt open. And I have the box that I have, I believe, has actually cereal in it. So the other ones don't have cereal in them. Yeah, for sure. You want to see Nuka Girl? All right. Here is Nuka Girl. We'll put her on deck. You got it. What up, D? How's it going, man? What up, Great White? How's it going, D? Good to see you. G. Khaled, can I see the Scooby? You got it. We'll put Scooby up next. Oh, Scooby looks like Scooby has cereal in there as well. A couple of these had cereal in them still. Nice. OG 2012 Beetlejuice. Elman's with the snipe. What up, S-Pops? How's it going? Island Vinny, how's it going? The Batman, you got it. Well, I got multiple Batman. Which one you want? Stay lit. The Merciless one was the blue one. The blue one, you got it. Yeah, don't. Well, that's why most of these don't have cereal in them because I tried them in my, my videos and, yeah, it wasn't good. Uh, Scooby is open, yeah, but it has cereal in it, a brand new bag of cereal. That one I did not eat the Kool-Aid. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Funko Irish, how's it going? Tonight we got Atabox Pops, Atabox Minis. We got Atabox cereal. We got shirts, everything. Atabox tonight. Right now we have 2012 Beetlejuice. Elman's taking home the Beetlejuice from 2012 right there. Very, very cool. All right, let's put up. The next one, which we're going to show you guys, is going to be, this is the Nuka Cola Girl cereal. So there's the box right there. There is the Pocket Pop. Now, it's a Pocket Pop that does not have a hole on top. And we'll just kind of set her there in front. We'll talk, we might as well toss that up while we're here. So this one does not have cereal in it. It is just a box and the little figure. But again, out of box, so everything here tonight is not going to be perfect, which is why everything tonight is starting off at $1. So there you go. Let's see if we can get full rotation. Yep, we got full rotation with the cereal box. Perfect. Kyle Wolf, how's it going? Any of you guys want to see? Let me know. Anime? Yeah, tons of anime. We got some Naruto stuff. I got some My Hero Academia um, minis. And 
Mm, I think that's about it, actually. Yeah, so we got some some Naruto. Oh, I also got Perfect Cell from Dragon Ball. GameStop exclusive 2014 Metallic Perfect Cell. It's a pretty cool one. Yeah, Perfect Cell. You want me to do that? I'll do a Naruto for sure. I'll get Perfect Cell out too. So this one is for the Nuka Cola girl right here. Then you get a box and the little pocket pop, no cereal. So this was a GameStop exclusive, as you can see, right there as well. Mark Miller, what's going on? Again, we're just cleaning out some of the stuff that I have that's out of box that I just kind of don't need around. Get him some final homes, you know what I mean? Chris taking home the Nuka Cola girl. Very nice. Again, I did a review on these already, so that's why there's no cereal in these boxes. So I've already, they've already served their purpose, if you know what I mean. So might as well get them available here for you. I'm going to show you guys the Scooby-Doo one, and then I'm going to run the Naruto. Here is the, here is the box of Scooby-Doo cereal, and here is the cereal. I'm just going to rest this here because it is, it's orange, orange cereal. But that is a sealed bag, and then you got Scooby here. Actually, let me move this off to the side. Then you have Scooby right here with a sandwich hoagie, which is actually really cool. And again, it's a pocket pop with no hole in the top, which is what these cereal little toys were. They were pocket pops without holes in them. So uh, this one's going to be for the complete box, but again, you can see it is open. I would not suggest consuming the cereal inside because uh, I already did it for the videos, and they all taste the same. So if you've eaten once, you've tasted them all. It doesn't matter what color it is. We'll get Scrooge out of the way. And like I said, why don't we do this? Let's just run the Scooby-Doo while he's already up there. And then we'll bust over the Naruto Pops. Where is Scooby-Doo? And then... Next one is... Minato. Minato from Naruto. And that's a 2020 Pop. And then we got Perfect Cell Metallic 2014 GameStop Exclusive on deck right now. If there's something you want to see, uh, what do they taste like? It honestly just tastes, um, it tastes like simple syrup poured on top of like uh, something like tasteless and crunchy. I don't know. That's probably the best. It's like a simple syrup on tasteless toast. <laughs> yeah, here's the perfect cell right here. Uh, Metallic 2014 GameStop exclusive perfect cell. You even got a little pointy Pointy tail there, which we'll get stuck with that for sure. Yeah. Like box lunch exclusive too. Yeah, this one is a box lunch exclusive. Yep, absolutely. Thanks, Forster Strong. Nice. G. Cala taking home the Scooby Doo cereal with the cereal in the box. Like I said, uh, most of the boxes tonight do not have cereal in them because I already used them for a YouTube video. And then if I, if I tasted them, then I tasted them. But if I didn't, then it's got cereal in it still. So. But again, they're just really cool pops. So next thing let's do, let's put up the Naruto, the Minuto, I believe. I'm sure I'm butchering the name. Minato. There we go. Here is Minato. Let me crank this up a little bit. He's a little short. Uh, let me actually pull this off. I think that should be good right there. All right, here is Monado. Pretty cool. Now this is a 2020 pop. I'm getting out of box tonight. We're doing a lot of clearing out here, getting rid of some of our stuff that's out of box. Getting some final homes. We got some really great pops tonight. We got Ash from the Evil Dead, the original Ash. We got some old school Wolverineage too. Very, very cool. We got some Venom Pool action. We even got, check this out, a light-up Iron Man coming down the line. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So we got Monado. Stay lit with the with the lead on there. Any glow-in-the-dark? I do. I got this Doctor Strange glow-in-the-dark box lunch exclusive. This one's really cool. And that is actually all the glow in the dark that you have. Yeah, is that one? 
Oh, there's actually a glow in the dark mini. There is a glow in the dark mini. A little kid robot. Was that third eye? Stay lit. Taking home the Monado for one dollar. Nice pick up there. All right. Put that off to the side. Let's grab us another one here. Let's do Venom Pull. We'll load him up. Uh, and again, if there's something you guys want to see, let me know down in the chat. And I'll put it up. I'm getting Venom Pool right there. <laughs> it looks good, actually. I'm going to put him up, and then I'll get catch up with the chat. So like I said, then you want to see, toss it up there. I'm going to do a t-shirt here soon next. The 2018 Venom Pool from the Gamerverse. Start that off one minute with one dollar. Venom Pool 2018 Gamerverse. What up, Big Dog Dave? How's it going, man? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by tonight. What up, Greedy Avocado? Wonderstorm. Bob and Nuba, how's it going? Jason, how's it going? Pop Goods, good to see you. Tampon T, how's it going? Just chilling, man. Got some out of box pops tonight. Out of box minis. We got some t shirts we're tossing up. Cool t shirts, too. I got some Fantastic Four. We got an NYCC Dark Phoenix one. Some Target ones. We're doing some cereals tonight, Dave. Is good. Not much. Got a Venom pool up here right now. Out of box. Again, everything tonight is going to be out of box. Um, either the box came in damage, but. Or it's just been out of box chilling for a long time and it just needs to go. And it's here tonight for you guys. Nice. Perfect cell. I'll run perfect cell next. You got it. After the perfect cell, I'm gonna toss up a t-shirt. Then we'll do a couple minis and then we'll circle back and grab a couple more pops. Ash, you want me to run Ash? You got it. Anything you want to see? Boo, congratulations on the Venom Pool. Very nice pick up there. All right. Let's toss up Perfect Cell. He will need the extra size. He needs the extra size one for sure. So we got Metallic Perfect Cell here from 2014, I believe. Yeah, 2014. This is a GameStop exclusive right here. Dragon Ball Z action for you anime fans. Let me pull this one up. Again, everything tonight is going to be out of box. And it's all going to be minis, pops, t-shirts, and apparel. Um, we got some cereals. We got a Thanos backpack we're going to toss up in a little bit. What up, Garrett Cook? How's it going? El Poppy. Glow in the dark mini do I have? It is the Kid Robot. Kid Robot little uh what is this one there is the artist right there that is a i believe a triple collab or maybe no it's a double collab but it's got that third eye in there and then all that skeletal work glows on the back there's another eye and he's uh, holding a little torch there which comes out if you want me to run that let me know we got some star wars minis we got vader we got darth maul Anybody want me to run these? Let me know. We got Kylo Ren with the triple saber. Pretty dope. Like I said, we got some My Hero Academia minis. I got some Universal Monster minis. We got some zombie minis. The Nerd Deadpool. Yeah, you got it. I'll pull it over. Stay lit. Taking home the metallic. Perfect cell. Very nice. All right. Let's do – I'm going to toss one up while I grab the T-shirt bundle. Yep, I could definitely do the, the Batman for sure. Let me see if I can get this guy actually lassoed up here. I think you guys would like this one too. This one is a pretty rare one, probably one of the rarest minis that I actually have up tonight. And we'll toss him up right now. This is Zombie Black Panther. Uh, they did drop the 10-inch one, but they did pull the plug on the 4-inch one when Chadwick Boseman died. So, but this mini was dropped before his death. So they obviously couldn't pull the plug on that one. 
because it's already been dropped. So we're going to drop this one right now. We'll do Zombie Black Panther, the mini. Uh, nope, that's the pocket pop. Uh, there we go, Zombie Black Panther. Again, probably one of the more valuable ones going out tonight because of its rarity. I don't think it was meant to be that, but it just is. Stay Let's got it. Um, let me catch up on chat for a second. Let's see what we got here. Nerd Deadpool. So I got a 3X and a 2X in the Nerd Deadpool. And it's a both of them are sealed. And it's the Nerdy 30. So I don't actually have the t-shirt out of the bag. So I can't actually show you the t-shirt. But uh, they're both sealed. Either one. If there's one you want me to run, let me know. Uh, ACL, what's up, Adrian? How's it going? Yep, Blue Batman. I'll grab that. That's the Merciless. I'll put him on deck with Ash. Is the Deku 100% pop figure? The Deku is, or the Deku, uh, the Deku is uh, a mini. Deku is a mini. I got two of them too. Deku is a mini. El Poppy, what's going on? We got we got a heat. We got some heat right now. This is actually the Black Panther mini um, zombie. So this is actually a pretty pretty good pickup right here. Whoever's getting it for four bucks, Trina's taking it for four bucks. Force is strong with the snipe. Like I said. Chadwick Boseman passed after this was dropped, and they yanked back the pop. So this one is still um, in circulation. They dropped the 10-inch one now, obviously, but they still have not dropped the 4-inch pop for the Black Panther because I guess it was disrespectful to drop that, so they didn't do that. So Riddler taking it. What the Funko? How's it going? Riddler taking it. Nice. Good pick up there. Absolutely. All right. Here is... Old school, what is this, 2013 Bruce Campbell Ash 2 from the Evil Dead. Check this out. Army of Darkness, Bruce Campbell. Uh, we are running him. I got Merciless Batman on deck. Uh, there we go, Bruce Campbell, 2013. Again, everything tonight is out of box. We got pops. I got minis. I got pocket pops. We got cereals. I got t-shirts. Um, right now, we got Ash up there. I'm going to run a t-shirt next. We got a Moff Gideon we're going to run. Next, I'm also going to run one of these nerdy Deadpool ones. We're going to run the 2X. Is this the 2X one? Let me see here. Put some of these on deck. I can get this up. This is 3X. All right. I need the 2X one. There we go. And we'll also toss up a mini next as well. Where are we at here? I'll toss up this Darth Vader. Get these guys queued up here. All right. Bruce Campbell, Ash from the Evil Dead. Let me catch up on chat. Anything you guys want to see, drop it in the chat. You want me to run the 3X? Uh, Jorge, do you want me to run 3X on the Deadpool one or the Moff Gideon? Because I think I have a 3X on the Moff too. Nope, I think that's a 2X. What is this size? And that's an XL. All right, so you want me to run the 3X on the Deadpool? Got that. Mary Williams, hello. Taylor, how's it going? I'm Diamond. Boo, taking the Ash for $11. Very nice pickup there. All right. Let's toss up. So now I'm going to do this. I'll just kind of lay this here, I guess. And then I'll kind of show it off in a second. This is going to be the Deadpool one. Let me pull it up first. I'll catch up with chat. Again, anything you want to see, drop it in the chat below, and I will pull it and put it on deck over here, and then we can run it. Let's see. Uh, 3X start auction. Mm. Let me see here. It is not loading it for me. Give me a second. I'll catch up with chat. Deadpool Nerdy 33X. All right, here we go. Captain Pops. How's it going, Pop Guy? Trina, welcome back. 
Sunny, welcome back. Great White, how's it going? Welcome back. Just local, how's it going? Is uh, all right. Let me. Three X is fine. What is the Freddy Funko Twenty Three? That is an advent calendar, which has twenty three pint size heroes. It was a Funko Shop exclusive, and they're all Freddy Funkos. Right now, we got the Deadpool Nerdy Thirty shirt right here. Let me show you this, guys. First, here is the bottom of it, which has the birthday cake where it says 30 and then it says nerdy 30 down there and then here is deadpool and it has a bunch of balloons for the letters and he's got his dueling katanas there again this is sealed right here and again it's a 3x as you can see down there in the corner so i'm gonna lay this here on the turnstile again just a t-shirt side again this is going to be a out of box out of out of box minis pops t-shirts the pops been separated from the t-shirt the t-shirts here for you I do have more um, anime, but not Dragon Ball Z. No, unfortunately. Iron Man, nice. You want to see the – which Iron Man do you want to see? The light-up Iron Man, or do you want to see the Game Reverse Iron Man? We got Merciless Batman coming up next as well. Light-up, you got it. Nice. Sweet. Taking that home. Beautiful, man. That's a good pickup. All right. While we're doing this, let's run another one. We're going to run the Moff Gideon. It's him with the Darksaber coming out of the TIE Fighter. Pretty cool. Um, was it Juan Carlos Esposito? You think he drops? He, he's the guy who plays this character right here. We're going to run this right now. This is the. Um, this is an extra large tonight, and I'll show this off again in a second. We'll run the Moff Gideon. How did I put this under coding? Mm. Mm. Oops. There we go. Moff Gideon. XL. All right. Sealed. Start the auction off at a dollar. So again, this came in a t-shirt bundle with a glow-in-the-dark Moff Gideon with his Dark saber, and there he is right there hopping out, and the saber glows in that. But again, this is a T-shirt from that bundle. It's an extra large, sealed in the bag tonight, right there for you. I'll catch up on the chat. What's going on, Quick Draw? How's it going? Ryan Lanigan, how's it going? Lavish Life, how's it going? Welcome, and Dog, welcome everybody. Freddie Funko and the Kid Robot, nice. Uh, which Kid Robot did you want to see? I got two of them. Tonight we got the glow in the dark one. Got the glow in the dark one, and I also have this little like creepy looking bat one. So right now we got Moff Gideon right now on the turnstile, and it is an extra large again Funko shirts. All the shirts and everything tonight is all Funko stuff. Moff Gideon right there hopping out of the rubble with his crash Tie Fighter, his down Tie Fighter. Nice. Garrett Cook taking home the Moff Gideon shirt. Very nice. All right. Let's toss up Merciless Batman at a request. I'll catch up with chat, see which kid robot ones you guys wanted me to throw up, and then we'll put some more stuff on deck for you guys. All right. Here is Merciless Batman, probably one of the coolest ones from the Batman 80 Years line because of how the blue metallic is just one of a kind on this one. So we'll pull this one up. I'll catch up with chat. Um, this is a 2019 pop. Started off at a dollar with one minute. All right. Do you want me to run the – I'll run that next. Okay, for sure. We can run that. I'm going to run the Freddy Funko Advent Calendar. Baby G. You got it. Okay, we'll run the Baby G. Put the glow in the dark one aside for now. Baby G is on deck. For UMB, you got it. Oh, you want the glow in the dark one? You got it. All right, all right. Again, merciless Batman right now on the helm. Uh, out of box pops tonight. Uh, out of box minis. Out of box T-shirts. We got Funko cereals. We got a Thanos backpack. Um, coming up next, I got an advent calendar with twenty-three little Freddy Funkos in it. And uh, there's some, there's a gold one in there. There's some good stuff in that one. We might do an extended one where I do it like for two minutes and I kind of show you guys everything that's in it. But we'll see. Let me check, catch up on chat here. What does the IT mean? 
Uh, that's it from the movie It for IT. If you see It in there, there's um, what did I have from It in here? Uh, I thought I had something from It, didn't I? No, maybe not. I don't know actually. Which one are you talking about? Uh, stay lit. Which one do you want to see? How's everybody going? Welcome back, Great White. Nice. Elman's taking home the Merciless Batman for $17. Very nice pickup. All right. Next, let's throw up this glow in the dark kid robot. Little, He's like a little goon with a torch. I don't know. It's uh, got a lot of glow on him, that's for sure. There we go. He's got his little torch right there. It looks pretty cool, right? So I'll pull that one up. That was Mind's Eye. I think I had that under. Start that off at a dollar. All right. 2X Deadpool, you got it. Pull that one up. It says in the Oxen. That is just about – oh, gotcha. So that is the Pennywise display box from it. That's right. I did have something from, from it. So that is the Pennywise display box, which has – which is a Funko display box. I didn't know if anybody would be interested in those, so I tossed them up because I know people like to store stuff in those. Yeah, Gizmo Duck. Yeah, right. Yep, display box. Exactly. Force is strong. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right now we got the Mind's Eye Glow in the Dark. I don't know if it's called that, but it's a Glow in the Dark Kid Robot. And that is the crossover right there with the artist. We got a Deadpool 2X shirt coming up next. I also got a Doc Brown from 2013 coming up next as well. And then again, if there's anything you want to see, toss it down in the chat, and I will pull it up for you. Nice. Yep, this is only – you want to see that MHA. You want to see the minis? Which minis do you want to see? Um, yes, this is only out of box tonight. That's what the whole auction is tonight. It's going to be minis, pops, T-shirts, cereals. We got 14 for the Kid Robot Mini at the moment. Glow in the dark. Oh, there we go. Luna taking home the Kid Robot Mini. Very nice pickup. Get the torch. Put the torch right there. All right. Next up, we're going to put on Doc Brown. OG Doc Brown. He's got the remote control from Back to the Future 1. And this is a 2013 pop. Uh, the Glow One just sold. You want to see Todoroki? You got it. I got two of these tonight. So if there's one that you want me to run particularly, I mean, they're both the same, but if there's one that you want me to run particularly for the My Hero Academia minis, let me know, and I will run that. Want me to run that Todoroki? I definitely can for you. Right now we got Doc Brown on the helm right now, 2013. Yeah, great, Scott. Exactly. I do not know. Okay, you got it. I'll put it on deck. You got it, MB. I'll put that on deck. All right. Mike collects. How's it going? What's happening? Nice. Riddler taking on the old school Doc Brown. Nice pickup. All right. All right. Here is the two. Nope, another 3X. This is another 3X, actually. I had two 3Xs. Or it says 3X here, at least. Yeah, 3X. All right. Let me. Deadpool. I'm going to edit this. It actually is a 3X. So I actually have two 3Xs tonight. All right. We'll run that. We got another Deadpool Nerdy 30 t-shirt sealed tonight. 
there is the Deadpool balloons. And underneath it, it is Nerdy 30. And then it just has the K Kim jumping out of it with his dueling katanas. Uh, sealed tonight, it is a Funko shirt. 3X for this size right here on this one. Give it a minute. Sorry, DJ. Sorry about that. I'm not sure why it's booting you. Robin Justice League, you got it. Oh, that's a cool one. You're going to dig that one. All right. I got Baby G coming up on deck. And again, if there's something you want to see, let me know. Drop it in the chat. I'll put it on deck over here. All right. Four seconds left on the Nerdy 30. Yes, Universal Monsters, you got it. Is there anyone you want me to pop up in particular? Nice. Force is strong. Taking home the Deadpool shirt. Very nice, dude. Great pickup on that. All right. Let's do – let's put this Robin up. So here's a Justice League Robin. So this was removed from – what did I have this? This, re this was removed from a diorama. But nonetheless, it is Robin. You could probably just stand him on a shelf or something. Start him off at a dollar. Frankenstein, you got it. We got Frankenstein and his bride tonight. So we have Justice League Robin right here. Again, this was removed from. I do have some. Do I have Disney tonight, actually? Um, I rush to say I thought I had some, but I guess all the Star Wars stuff is technically Disney. <laughs> um, no. Yes, I will. I have a Winnie the Pooh. Is that Disney? I don't know if that's Disney. Yes, it is. We have Winnie the Pooh uh, dis display box with the backer board. And that is Disney, I guess, technically. I mean, Winnie the Pooh display box with the backer board. Which, why don't we do this? We'll run one of the display boxes here next. We got Justice League Robin right here. Uh, that is the only Naruto that I do have tonight. Nice. Justice League Robin. Very nice pickup on that. He's a cool Robin. All right. Here is... Frankenstein's monster. There he is right there. Pop him up. Um, what did I have him under? Frankenstein's monster. There we go. Start him off at a buck. Xenomorph bloody. You got it. Force is strong. I'll pop that one out. Let me see. I'll catch up on chat here. Um... The mixed salad MB is what I do at the end of the night for anything that doesn't sell tonight. Gets put in the mixed salad, and then I auction off all those items together at the end of the night because everything needs to sell. You know what I mean? We're not looking to roll stuff over to another auction. Um, so any me's that I have left over, we'll run those. Any pops, we'll get done in another one. But so far, we've sold everything. So um, add icons, add icons. The only thing I think I have for add icons tonight is going to be the – uh, target dog pin, target dog pin with the, with the t-shirt sealed. And then I have an ad icons display box, which I'm actually going to run that next, which I don't know. We'll see. I tossed them in here to see what, if people want these or not, because they could be trash, I guess, if people don't want them, but boo, taking home Frankenstein's monster. Nice pickup there. All right, let's do this. Let's put up this ad icon display box. Again, you can't get these anymore, and some people do like to store this stuff. Let me turn off my – there we go. Some people do like to store stuff in these. And, again, if you already if you already bought stuff tonight, this would ship free to you. And if you make up to four purchases, I believe everything ships for one, one shipping fee. All right. Like I said, you can't get these anymore. Um, it does come with its little backer board up here. And if you do like add icons and you want to store stuff in there, you can store your sodas in this. Um, but I wanted to see if anybody's interested in these. What's up, Quick Draw? How's it going? Yep, the Avengers display. That one is, I believe, like an endgame theme one. 
But this one right here is for ad icons. I figure most people would be interested in that. They like ad icons. Light up Iron Man, you got it. Noid shirts, you got it. Nice. Like I said, we got a ad icons display box right now. I guess you could keep whatever you want in there, sodas, minis. And like I said, if none of these display boxes sell tonight, then we'll just sell them all in one lot. I'm sure somebody will pick them up and store their sodas or minis in them or something. Uh, Force is strong. What size did you want again? 2X? The Noid? 2X for the Noid, right? Put that on deck. All right. Add icon display box. That is going in the mixed salad pile for sure. All right. Let's toss up this. Um, let me see if I can get him on there. Because I want him to, I want him to be displayed high. I don't want the text to be in, in the way for this guy. But here is Light Up Iron Man. Oh, look at that! It's right, right above the text. That's nice. All right, here's Iron Man. I'll catch up on chat in a second. Iron Man lights up. So this was a Walgreens exclusive. Uh, Iron Man from 2018. This is one of the very few pops that actually lights up. Uh, they did this one, they did a Mysterio, and then they did a talking light up, Kylo Ren and Darth Vader. But this is one of the very few ones that actually does light up. And, well, there's also, I guess, a Batman 80 Years diorama with Commissioner Gordon where the bat signal lights up. But for the most part, pop-wise, it was this and the Mysterio pop. So um, These do take multiple watch, uh, watch batteries, yes. Gamer vs. Iron Man. Here is the Gamer vs. Iron Man. This one's sick. That one's sick. We'll put him on deck as well. Um, Monado, we have one left. We ran one already. We have one left of those from the Naruto. Um, nice. Carrie taking home the Iron Man light up. $13. Very nice. All right. Here, we'll toss up. People like some Iron Man. So this was another one of those pops that uh, was removed from a diorama. So it did have a stand. And I actually used the stand for this. Because I put the other Iron Man on this. So but this is definitely a cool Iron Man. Nonetheless, let's go to um, Game Reverse. Pop removed from diorama, one minute, one dollar. Again, all this stuff tonight is out of box. Either I use it in a video, I did it for, I did use it for custom. It was either removed from diorama, box got destroyed, and it was just something that I had out, or the pop that I used to like having out, and it's here for you now. So that's pretty much the backstory for the pops tonight. This is Iron Man from the Gamerverse. I believe this, I think this was actually a Target exclusive one. Yeah, this one's a Target exclusive one, not the common. Vault Boy, you got it. Yeah, they are. Exactly. All right, Vault Boy. Vault Boy. Here is Vault Boy. Again, a pocket pop with no hole in the top. And here is a cereal box that it comes with. Another GameStop exclusive. Yeah, they are. They really are. And like I said, any pops tonight that do not get sold will go in the mixed salad at the end of the night, along with everything else that does not sell tonight. Nice. With the snipe for a buck. Very nice take home on this. I mean, you could probably turn this into a Christmas ornament. You could suspend it from the ceiling with fishing line. You can do whatever you want with this um, in regards to what your creativity is. But it is an out-of-box one. So it's here for you tonight in this auction. Xenomorph Bloody. We're going to toss that one up next. And then we got this Baby G. Little mini coming up. Harkus taking it. Nice. With the snipe. All right. Let's toss up this Xenomorph Bloody, and then we got the little Baby G coming up. And then we're going to toss up one of these, the SDCC 2019 Conan O'Brien. Let me see if I got this hooked right. Uh, it could be better, I think. All right, let me, uh, anything you guys want to see, toss it down in the chat, and I'll pull it and put it on deck over here. Just trying to get this Xenomorph clipped up. Because it wants to dip forward with its big old head. Here's the bloody Xenomorph. It actually has a translucent skull here. Um, where you can actually see the, the sockets in there. 
But this one actually does come with a stand as well because it does need one to stand up. So what I'm going to do is start this one, and then I'll catch up on chat. Where is Xenomorph Bloody? This is a 2019 pop, Xenomorph Bloody. Zombie Wolverine, you got it. Vault Boy, I'll put Vault Boy in queue. Vault Boy is in queue. Baby G is coming up. We got a Zombie Wolverine coming up. And I'm going to do a – we'll do a little back-to-back. -back. I got a regular Wolverine from 2011. 2011 Wolverine. Vintage. Big Tig, what's happening? Sonny, how's it going? Ant Dog, how's it going? Welcome, everybody. Tristan, how's it going? Uh, is the mixed salad all the unsold items, or is it going to be separated? It's going to be – it depends. If I have, like – a couple items from each from each one. Like if I have a couple minis, a couple pops, and a couple whatever else, then I might just do it all together. But if there's like you know more than five for each one, then I'll break them up for sure. But like I said, if it's under five for each each type of category that I have set up, uh, DJ, then what I'll end up doing is just doing those individually. Because some people might not want T-shirts; they might just want to buy all the out of box pops for a couple bucks a piece. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. What's up, Jay Salazar? How's it going, B Cobb? What's happening, man? We got the war zone going on in the background on the right on YouTube. And it looks like we're playing trios with Tyler. The bride. You want the bride of Frankenstein? You got it. I'll put her on deck as well. Got a couple minis coming up next. Nice. Xenomorph Bloody. All right. Here is. Zombie Wolverine. Zombie Wolverine. Pretty cool, right? Mini out of box. We'll toss him up. Where is he at? Zombie Wolverine. There he is. Lavish Life. How's it going? Metal Monkey. How's it going? Elias. How's it going? Great White. Welcome back. Anything you guys want to see, let me know, and I'll put it up. Just toss it in the chat. I'll catch it up right now. we got a Zombie Wolverine Mystery Mini on deck here 2020. I believe they dropped these. we got a Vault Boy Serial coming up. we got some T-shirts. We'll throw up some more display boxes and see if you guys like them sporadically throughout the night. Got Wolf, what's happening? Elias taking it, the zombie Wolverine. Nice. What up, Lewis? How's it going? MV, welcome back. Just look, how's it going? Again, uh, multiple purchases tonight will get you one price for shipping up to four items. So you buy up to four things, you pay one price for shipping. And I think it's every four items you pay that, that price over again. So if you buy eight items, I think you only pay like seven bucks total for shipping for eight items, uh, which is pretty crazy, actually. In my other auction, it's really popular because of the 10-inch pops and stuff. People still paying $350. MB, taking the zombie Wolverine home. Nice. All right. Next, we got Kid Robot, Baby G coming up. Got to swap out these. He's a little bit wide. He's a little bit wide. All right. Here is Baby G. He's got He's got these detachable little floaties. So the other guy had these the torch. This guy has like detachable floaties. That's his little like accessory, if that makes sense. Um, baby G Kid Robot. This is Chow's Cross with Lamb, and it's a mystery mini. Those are the two artists, Chow's Cross with Lamb. Again, Baby G designer vinyl toy right here. Venom Deadpool, you got it. That's a favorite of mine for sure. We already ran that. We already ran Venom Deadpool. I have Doctor Strange. Venomized, the glow in the dark box lunch. That one's up there. Um, what is this one? Let me grab this one. Oh yeah, let's do this one. Commissioner Gordon. We'll set these up over here. Christian Bale. I got Vault Boy cereal coming up. We got the Bride on deck. And let me catch up on chat. Uh, Minato. Yep, I got that one. I'll put that one up next. On deck. Uh, Doctor Strange, you got it. I'll take Doctor Strange. Like I said, anything that does not sell tonight will go in the mixed salads. You see the mixed salads in the item list. Um, 
And what that basically is, all items that do not sell tonight in the auction will get put in that pile and we'll end up auctioning the whole thing off tonight. So uh, pop in periodically if you're going to other auctions and make sure you stop back towards the end of the night because you could have an opportunity to grab a lot of great stuff for a very low price. Nice. The baby G is gone. All right. Goodbye, baby G. All right. Let's do... Let's toss this guy up and see how he does. We got Christian Bale, Batman, from The Dark Knight. This was removed from a diorama with Commissioner Gordon, which was the other light-up pop we were talking about. The DuckTales are not for sale. Sorry. Venomized Thanos, you got it. So on deck right now, I got Bride of Frankenstein. I got a Vault Boy cereal. We got the Monado. We got Doctor Strange Venomized. I got a Wolverine from 2011. A venomized Thanos. And if there's anything else you guys want to see, let me know, and I'll put it on deck over here on the side, and we'll run it. You got it. Ducktails. Nope. Yeah, trying. Right, Fetty Pop? All right. Batman from the Dark Knight. Again, yeah, Venom Deadpool is gone. Uh, Black Lights, no, nothing, unfortunately, tonight. Yeah, the Venom Deadpool is gone. This is uh, Christian Bale, Batman from the Dark Knight. Uh, I actually do have a Commissioner Gordon, which I'm going to be tossing up, which is a Gary Sinise Commissioner Gordon, where he has a Joker card there. Uh, this is another cool one, and we'll be tossing him up tonight as well. For you Batman fans. Uh, yes, absolutely. Here is the here's the Naruto, the Minato Pop. I had two of those up tonight. We already ran one, and that one is gone. And then you want to see the Making Waves Tiny Ghost Mini. There is that Tiny Ghost Mini right there. I got this from Mr. Hashtag Larry in a collectible swap box. I'm not a Tiny Ghost collector, but hopefully this will go to somebody's home tonight. All right. Yeah, right. Exactly. A 10-inch black light. That's right. B-Cobb -Cob, B Customs. We got Batman from the Dark Knight. This is Christian Bale Batman uh, from the Dark Knight. Removed from a diorama right here. It was with the Commissioner Gordon one, which I'm going to be running him too. Hardika is taking home the Dark Knight. Nice pickup, dude. All right. I said some of these pops you won't even see um, because they're, like I said, some of them are removed from a diorama and you don't, you'll never have access to them unless you take them off yourself. Here is the Monado. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I'm not butchering it. Uh, but this is my last Naruto pop for the evening. We still have My Hero Academia minis that we're going to be tossing up. We're going to be running those a little bit towards the later half of the evening. Uh, we're going to probably wrap up with some of the minis. But we're going to probably blast through our pops, our t-shirts, our cereals, and then uh, probably run the Thanos backpack, and then we'll kind of run into the, the rest of the minis. But I'll be popping them in if you guys request them for sure. Uh, let's see here. Run the mini ghost. You got it. Let me grab it. What up, b Cobb? How's it going? Welcome back. No, none of these pops tonight, Noah, have boxes. This is an out-of-box pop auction. Everything tonight is out-of-box pop uh, mini, or it's a cereal that had been opened and the cereal's gone, and it's just the pocket pop and the box. Um, if it was a pop and tea bundle, the pop has been taken out, and the tea is what's left over. So it's just all, all out-of-box tonight. It's you know nothing going to be in-box tonight. I had enough material for this auction to be able to do this um, and get at least 100 items out of it. So I figured, why not? We'll run it. Instead of mixing in the out of box stuff with my actual inbox pops, just to run it by itself. Nice. AJ taking home the Monado. Very nice. All right. Let's pop the bride up. We're going to pop the bride up. We got Venomized Thanos coming up. Tiny Ghost Mini. We got a Wolverine coming up. We got a Vault Boy cereal I'm going to be running. But here right now is the bride. This is the colorized version of the bride. Um, they had a black and black and white Walgreens exclusive one, but this is the bride colorized version. All the Universal monsters tonight are going to be um, colorized tonight. Let's see, she comes up with just bride. There we go, the bride. Start her off at a dollar for one minute. Felix T-shirt, absolutely. What size would you like me to pop up tonight? Looks like we have. 2x and extra large for the Felix shirt. Let me know carried. 
I know they do great work. Rick Grimes, you got it. Rick Grimes is on deck. Walking Dead fans in the house, very nice. 2X, you got it. I'll pull the 2X Felix. This is a really cool shirt because it's from the 100th anniversary of Felix the Cat. I think you'll dig that one. We'll put that one up as well. We got the bride right now. She is a hot seller, that is for sure. And it's not even season for horror pops or horror stuff, but she's a good, she's a good one from the set. We got Dracula left from my Universal Monsters. And check this out. I even have a Zeke from the Paka Paka series. This is one. Look at that. That's pretty cool, right? Boo Hollow. Reese O'Brien, I think, designed those. I think he designed all this stuff, actually. Yeah, Zeke the Zombie. Yeah, Zeke the Zombie. I'll put him aside. He's a cool one, huh? That was designed by Reese O'Brien, those vinyls right there. Yep, it did. We got the bride here. Ten seconds left on the bride. Very, very cool mystery mini. Anybody get those Mandalorian minis coming out? Those are really cool. Nice. I'm catching up on chat here. I got Zeke put aside. Nice. KC Powers taking home the bride. Very nice. All right. We'll put the bride over there. Here is the Oop, Tiny Ghost needs the big one. So we got a Ben Toy Tiny Ghost here. Another one designed by Reese O'Brien. I mean, I'm guessing every toy tonight was probably designed by Reese O'Brien in some fashion. He's a, he's an artist over there uh, at Funko and all these other places. So let's do, where is it? Uh, Tiny Ghost. Making Waves. I don't know if it's called Making Waves. I think that might be what it's called, but we'll start off at a dollar. He's the artist that designs a lot of the pops that we purchase. Like pretty much any any pop that we purchased was pretty much designed probably by him or somebody who's associated with him. Like he designed the whole Paka Paka Boo Hollow minis, which is this whole line right here. And this one actually is uh, Zeke the Zombie. And then I had, uh, I think I had a Wolfman one too. I forgot what the Wolfman one was called. Nice. How's everybody doing tonight? I am catching up on chat. MB taking home this tiny ghost mini. Welcome, welcome. We got a Felix the Cat shirt coming up. We got Rick Grimes, Zeke the Zombie. We got a Venomized Thanos. We got a 2011 Wolverine. We got a Vault Boy cereal. I think I'm going to run. You guys want me to run the Gears of War hat first, or you want me to run the Caddyshack Bushwood Country Club hat first? Let me know which one of those you want me to run in the chat, and I'll pull that one aside as well. You want me to do bundles of that? I could do bundles of that. Two times on the Noid. You got it. I'll pull that. Taking home the Tiny Ghost Mini. Let's do this. Let's toss up Old School Rick Grimes, and I'll grab the T-shirt for you. Let's grab up Old School Rick Grimes. Rick Grimes! This is from the original first episode of the show slash the first issue of the comic, which is called Days Gone, so Days Gone By. So this is, this is Rick Grimes when he's walking through the town. He doesn't know what's going on yet. And he's just kind of experiencing the new world that he is thrown into. And we'll start him off at a dollar. This is 2012 Rick Grimes right here, yet with his trusty revolver. That is right. Rick Grimes. Yes, yeah, spoiler alert. Again, the old school Rick Grimes, 2012 Rick Grimes. Superb pop. I mean, again, out of box. Been out of box for probably 10 years. <laughs> so... He's an old school pop, that's for sure. We got some old school ones tonight. We even have like a, we have a 2011 Wolverine I'm going to be running next, which is actually really cool. I like those old school figures. They have a nice nostalgic property to them. Check out this Miss Pac-Man we got. I got Miss Pac-Man I'm running tonight as well. Very different style pop. For you pizza fans out there, I'm running a Tomato Head as well. We got an Angel coming up from the Collector Core box. We got some good stuff. We got Han Solo and Carbonite. Metallic Venom Pool. Deadpool. Deadpool Venom, I should say. I'm popping a box. But right now we got Rick Grimes on there. And it looks like Force is Strong taking home Rick Grimes. Nice. All right. All right. Let's toss up. You guys was asking about the. That is Venomized Thanos right there. 
me toss that one up. I'll catch up on the chat. We got a Felix the Cat shirt coming up next. I have a Noid shirt coming up. And this is Venomized Thanos. We'll start this one off at a dollar. Um, we got a Venomized Doctor Strange coming up as well. Anything you guys want to see, it's going to be right down here in the bottom corner. You just touch that little tag right there, and it'll show you everything that I have available. If it's something you want to see, drop it in the chat. I'll pull it up here. I'll show it to you. And if it's something you want me to run, let me know down in the chat as well, and I will run that also. Let me catch up on chat here and see where we're sitting at. I can run the Wolverine. You absolutely got it. What does the Thanos look like? This is it right here. You're checking them out. You're on your lunch break. You got it. I'll run the Wolverine next for you, Biebs. We're going to run the Wolverine next for Biebs. He's on his lunch break. Thanks for stopping in tonight as well. 13 seconds left on the Venomized Thanos. The two and the two 306 Scrooges. Which one? This, These two right there? Force is strong. Stay lit. Taking home Venomized Thanos. Nice. Let me toss that up. We'll get Wolverine popped up here, and we'll get that started for Weebs because that has been on deck for a little while. And then you want to know about – you want to know the story about the two Scrooge McDucks behind me. You usually do open pops for auctions. Um, sometimes you can work them in your auctions – if you have it, if you have them, but I had so many of these um, that I was have I mean I had over almost a hundred, so I might as well just do a, a dedicated auction for this versus diluting a regular pop auction with these things because not everybody comes for out of box pops, but if you came here for out of box pops, this is a great auction for you because you could just scoop up some of these deals for a lower price than normal uh, versus people who come for in box pops and mint pops uh, that are in the box, you know, them having this up, they might leave the auction so. Trying to keep them dedicated, I think, is a little bit more of a selling tactic, if you would, for at least me personally. So it's hard to do a little separate one. Uh, so there's two Scrooge McDucks back here. This one is actually a Japanese – I believe this one is it. A Japanese – yeah, this is a Japanese Scrooge McDuck. So I got this one from Japan. And the other one is the regular standard Scrooge McDuck. So worth a little bit more because, again, it's from Japan. It's got that sticker on the bottom from Funko. Beebs taking home the Wolverine. Very nice. 2011 Wolverine. Nice lunch pickup, dude. All right. So like I said, yeah, one's from Japan and one is the straight up regular one, which most people probably have. So I'll do this little guy. So this is another toy designed by Reese O'Brien, another vinyl. Uh, this is Zeke the Zombie. This is from the Boo Hollow line of Paka Paka Minis. And again, he designed this whole line here, and I think they're really cool. Actually, they're great for Halloween, the way that they are stylized. No black light tonight. Um, yeah, no black light tonight. None of these are even black light reactive. The only one that might be black light reactive would be this Doctor Strange Venomized. If you hit that with the UV light, he probably would react to it. Um, catch up on chat here. Yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah, and again, if you're an out-of-box collector, this is perfect for you, too, because some people don't even care about the box. They just want the pop. Um, and it, again, like if you already have one of these pops in the box, you want to play with it or take it out of the box, you can always pick one of these up tonight for your collection and have it out of the box. I have most of my out-of-box stuff right now is Venom, Hulk, and Boba Fett, Mandalorians, and like my sodas. That's pretty much like what my out-of-box collection is right now. Daisy Duke Dogs, yeah, right. MB taking home Zeke the Zombie. Nice, dude. Great pickup on that. All right. You guys are asking for him. We're going to toss him up. I need to get him lassoed up. But let's get this Doctor Strange Venomized. So this is a glow-in-the-dark box lunch exclusive Venomized Doctor Strange. Has a very sick glow. The cowl here glows, the red cowl. The uh, little things he has around, the swirls around his hands, those glow as well. And so does the white accents on the face. Um, this is truly a great Venomized pop. They probably should have just made this one the first time instead of making the other version that they made and just made this one because this is the 
this is the one right here. Uh, these little uh, spikes here shooting out of the tendrils of his cowl also glow as well. And the accents on the boots, the belt, the face, all this glows for him as well. He's a heavy pop, but a cool pop. And out of box nonetheless. As you know, he is here for you out of box tonight. Anything you guys see in the bottom right corner of the screen, let me know. I'll toss it up here for a preview, or if you want me to run it, just say run it, and I'll put it over here on deck to run. Next thing I got coming up are some t-shirts we're going to do. I'm going to do a Noid one and a Felix one after this Doctor Strange, and then we'll hop back and do a couple more pops. So anything you want to see, drop it down here in the chat for me, and I'll field it as soon as we get them up. Um, you want to see... Can I see a Mando? What Mando? Um, I don't think I have any Mandos tonight. I got a lot of Batman Pops. If you're interested in Batman Pops, I got a ton of those. Um, Jim Lee Deluxe Batman Pops. I got Jokers. I got a Jack Napier I'm going to throw up here next. We got Catwoman. I got a Metallic Venom Deadpool. We got a Hulk one. I got a custom that I made. We'll toss up later to see if somebody wants that. Nice. Taking home the Venomized Doctor Strange. Very nice pickup on that. For 11 bucks. All right. There, you know what? We'll toss this guy up while I get these t-shirts out. We got Commissioner Gordon right here from The Dark Knight. This is Gary Sinise's character. Commissioner Gordon from The Dark Knight. Again, he's got the Joker card there. There is his glasses on as well. So you can tell us that Gary Sinise character. And uh, yeah, so this is a good one. This is a good pop. Definitely go good with the, um, what is it? Christian Bale Batman that sold earlier. Force is strong, taking it. Nice. Withstand or Joey Funko, which one are you talking about? Horror? Do I have horror tonight? Um, no, no, I have Dracula. That's the last one I have left, I guess you could say, from horror. I got, like, Vivian Campbell. Uh, but horror-wise, no, nothing really directly horror-related except for Dracula. Captain Marvel, you got it. It's a comic Captain Marvel. Beebs, which Batman you want to see? Uh, let me know which one that is. Here is Captain Marvel. It is a pocket pop. This is the comic version of Captain Marvel, as you can see. And it's got no hole in the top, which is awesome. Uh, the Universal Monsters that I have left right now, JC, is going to be the Dracula one, which is colorized. And I could run this if you want Nice, Dracula. What up, E-Cobb? Welcome back. Biebs, uh, any Batman. Okay. I could do it. Do you like 1989 Batman, Justice League Batman, or Jim Lee Batman? Pick one of those three, Biebs, and I'll run it. 1989, you got it. I do have a rock pop, Thomas. I got Vivian Campbell from Def Leppard. Hardicus taking home Commissioner Gordon. Very cool pop. Very cool pop. All right. Here, we'll toss this one up for you guys. Biebs has got a couple minutes left. He's a Batman guy. We'll get him uh, a checkout on this 1989 Batman. Let's see if we can get it kind of turned up a little bit. There we go. So this Batman right here, he is bloody. There we go. Let's see if we can position him right. Batman bloody. This is 1989. Pop rem removed from a diorama. So this one was with the Jack Napier, which I could run the Jack Napier as well. I got the Jack Napier with stand. Uh, this came with this one. It was on a diorama. Let's run this one. You want me to run that Joker too? You got it. Any Marvel Zombies? We sold the Black Panther that I had and the Wolverine. Slimer, Ghostbuster, and the Toilet Ninja. You got it. I'll put those aside as well. All right. You got it. Beebs winning the 1989 Batman bloody. Michael Keaton Batman right here. This is from the Tim Burton movie in 1989 right here which was him versus the Jack Nicholson Joker right here on the top of the spire where he ended up pushing the Joker off. And that is why Joker has blood on his face because he at one point had glasses that were being knocked off of his face. So good evening. Welcome. Welcome. Funko fried pops. How's it going? Uh, I actually have a, the zombie black Panther is gone, but I actually do have another black Panther this is the classic comic Black Panther right here, Pocket Pop. If you're interested in that, I could definitely run that. Biebs taking home the 1989 Batman tonight. Again, out of box from a diorama. 
Pretty cool one. Nonetheless. All right. Here, let's do this. Let's run this guy. For you fans. You fans of the bat. You guys like the Batman. Here is Jack Napier. Jack Nicholson bat or a Joker right there from 1989 Batman. This is a standalone one, which was removed from the same diorama from that Batman that we just did. All right, Felix the Cat. That's a cool shirt. Got a bunch more shirts. I got an advent calendar we're going to be putting up soon. And we got more pops, minis, all kinds of stuff to put up tonight. That did not sell tonight. Let me catch up on chat once we get this going. How much did Black Panther sell for? I actually don't remember. It was a pretty rare one, though. I do remember that. Yeah, right, Thomas? Yeah, I do love my DuckTales. That's my one of my favorite sets. Uh, that's my one of my main lines that I actually do collect uh, in Funko is uh, the Donald Ducks, uh, Scrooges, all the Scrooges, and, you know, the Nephews. Webigale, Gizmo Duck. I mean, I even got over here to the right. I even got um, here. I'll give you a little preview. I even got my Dark Wing Ducks over there. You guys don't even see those. I just put those in there for me so I could see them when I'm doing this. But yeah. And then over here to the left, I actually have the nephews in the Halloween costume. And here we have Donald from the Hollywood exclusive. I got Funko HQ Donald. We got the new Three Musketeers Donald from WonderCon right there. What up, Adrian? uh funko hollywood exclusive donald up there so definitely got the duck collection down this right now is for joker though beebs taking home 1989 joker with the stand he's got his own stand again removed from a diorama but cool nonetheless all right now let's toss up this felix the cat shirt this is a hundredth anniversary felix the cat again all the clothes tonight are funko let me get this one loaded up and i'll show you the shirt and then I'll catch up on chat. I'll show you the shirt, and then I'll catch up on chat. What size do we got here? This is a 2X, I think you guys asked me to put up here. Let's put up the 2X Felix the Cat shirt. Started at $1 for one minute. And we'll see exactly what it looks like. So this one's not in the bag, but it's still new. I took this out on the channel. Again, Felix the Cat, 100 years and counting. He's got his bag there which was what the box looked like that it came in. And again, it's a gray shirt, probably one of the only shirts that Funko put out that isn't black. Um, but like I said, it's a Target exclusive 100th anniversary Felix the Cat shirt. Uh, this shirt came with a metallic silver uh, Felix. So nice. Carrie taking it. Let me check up on chat here and see what we got going on. Um, they need to make a count dracula pop oh ducky the pop yeah they do they definitely need to make a count ducula for sure that would be dope it pops together in one package yeah absolutely beebs they are gonna and anything you buy tonight will get shipped together um i got boxes no matter how much stuff you guys buy one person could buy everything tonight and i have a box big enough for it three x shawarma still going up yeah of course definitely you want me to toss it up for you i can get it put aside in the pile three x shawarma we got the noid 2x coming up next i got a dracula mini we got a toilet ninja coming up i got a slimer nice felix the cat going going gone all right let's toss up this guy let's toss up a dracula and then we'll get that noise shirt up there is a colored dracula so again another another rare one from the set colored version where are we at Dracula, Dracula, Universal Monsters, Mystery Mini. Probably one of my favorite sets that they've dropped in mini form is the Universal Monsters, I'd say. Um, I like the add icon ones, too, from the Mystery Minis, because I, I like the stylized nature of how they fit with the characters, and I think they did good with these. So, um, How much did the Zombie Black Panther sell for? Um, I don't know. You can actually see in the corner. Let me see here. Zombie, $7 that went for. Seven dollars. What up, Funko Dad? How's it going? Hey, John. How's it going? Hot moms. What's going on? 
Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We have Dracula here from the Universal Monsters, uh, Universal Monsters Mystery Minis. Uh, this is the colorized version. This is Dracula with Candelabra. So he actually has the Candelabra there, which is in a copper tone look to it. And again, he is colorized. Very, very cool mystery mini. Dracula with can I don't know if this is the Vincent. I think this might be the Vincent Price Dracula. I'm not sure. But it's Dracula nonetheless with Candelabra colored. Bella Pig, what's happening? Welcome back. Andy Boy, how's it going? Antog, what's happening? Chief Toys, how's it going? Elias. She-Hulk, you want to see the She-Hulk? So this was a custom that I made to shoot out of a potato cannon for a video on YouTube. Nice. Dracula going home. We'll toss up the She-Hulk next. Since I'm talking about it, I might as well just throw it up. And then we'll hop back to that Noid shirt. We got a shawarma time one. So this is actually, this is a custom that I did to shoot out of a potato cannon. She has the helmet on and everything. I was going to shoot this out of a potato cannon for a video on YouTube. and decided not to do that because I don't feel like going to jail for shooting a potato cannon anywhere. So we're just going to move on from that. There it is. So you guys can take my attempt here at, I did gloss black for her hair. I did flat black everything else and then her face obviously is green uh, and then that is the normal she hulk body there so again a custom that i made to shoot out of a potato cannon for a video so this that would have been a cool video i wanted to see what would have happened if i shot this out of a potato cannon uh what would happen to the vinyl would it just get destroyed apart or what would happen to it because we've already disintegrated these in like multiple fluids and acetone acids um we've drenched them in soda we've done all kinds of stuff to these pops we've tortured them beyond all recognition but this one was supposed to get shot out of the potato cannon. And I just don't need it anymore. So, yeah, right. Well, it, it all depends what state you're in, uh, John. <laughs> There's not. I, I can't just go out into the woods and shoot that thing. There isn't really no woods in Colorado, so you can't really do it out here. And if there is woods, there's probably somebody in the woods. Yeah, right. Exactly. It, it'll dissolve that for sure. Nice. Elias taking home the custom She-Hulk. Again, remember the story, man. It was going to get shot out of potato cannon. All right. Now let's get the next one, which is going to be the Noid 2X shirt. This is a cool shirt. If you like Domino's, you like pizza, you like the Noid, you like the 90s, this is going to be the Noid 2X shirt. Where are we at? Where are we at here? Noid 2X start all right so 2x shirt uh here is the design right here it says not wanted keep the noid out for ruining pizza keep the flavor and it says domino's pizza down there and again reward and then it says the noid again another one of those shirts that is not black made by funko but a cool one nonetheless this one obviously all the shirts tonight are going to be new the ones that are not in bags i just opened them up for a video i showed the design off in a video and then it literally got folded up put back in the box uh, for you guys tonight, so yeah, right, exactly. It was definitely on NES. It was a great one. Yeah, right, Pennsylvania for sure, dude. Well, in Florida, you could do that. We used to just shoot potato cannons all the time. And those are different days, right? Force is strong. Taking home the Noid T-shirt. I got one more Noid T-shirt tonight, and it's an extra large. If you guys are interested in that? Let me know. I can run that. I got a Fantastic Four. T-shirt tonight, which is from the Collector Core box. I have a Dark Phoenix shirt from NYCC. Force is strong, taking home the Noid shirt. Very nice, sir. Put that side over there. All right, we're gonna run something else tonight. I'm gonna run. We're gonna run this Gears of War hat. So I got a Gears of War hat from the Collector's box. This is one size fits all. It's got a. It's a snapback hat, as you can see back there. It is new. It was just taken out of the collector's box. It still has a sticker on the bottom. Again, it's got the pop logo in the back there. It's got the Gears pop logo in the front because they made a Gears pop game. So that's the logo from the game right there too. And it's a play on the actual Gears of War logo as well. The Noid shirt, you got it. I'll take the Noid shirt and put it up. We got a Shawarma Time shirt coming up next, 3X. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Boof, does anything you want to see, let me know. I got the Noid shirt on deck right now. Pop Mama, how's it going? Santana, what's up? Pop Flipping Crazy, how's it going? And any of you guys want to see tonight, just check that little 
that little tag down there in the bottom corner. Is there anything you want to see? Toss it up in the chat. I'll pull it up here. If you want me to run it, let me know you want me to run it. Right now, we got the Gears of War hat from the collector's box. And it's got that logo on the front. It's got the pop logo on the back. It's a one-size-fits-all snapback. And it's got this hollow foil sticker underneath it. Like I said, just all I did was take this out of the collector's, collector's box. All right. Super Conan. You got it. 2009 SDCC Super Conan. Pocket Pop with cereal. This is one of the cereals tonight that actually has cereal in the box. And I did not taste it for a video. Garfield 2XL. All right. Garfield, where you at? Garfield is a ringer tee. Nice. Taking home the Gears hat. Garfield is a ringer tee. I'll put that aside. Nice. The Gears hat is gone. All right. Noid shirt. This is an extra large Noid shirt. This one is sealed in the bag. I think I actually just got this one in the other day because I wanted to pop out of there. So here is where is the Noid at? Yeah, I literally got this two days ago. So it's hot off the press. Start this off at a buck with one minute. All right, where are we at here? Dark Phoenix shirt. You want me to pull the Dark Phoenix one? Not only do I have the Dark Phoenix NYCC 2019 t-shirt here, but I also have the Cyclops one as well. If you're a fan of Jean Grey and Cyclops, the romance, um, I also have a Cyclops one as well. I can run that if you want me to run that, but I'll put the Jean Grey on deck. Uh, Pop Mama just closed the app out and reopen it. You want to see the Hulk that I have? The Hulk that I have tonight is from the Avengers Age of Ultron. This is Bruce Banner as the Hulk. He's got these stark, uh, little stark booty shorts on. But this is the Age of Ultron Hulk right here. This is the exact Hulk mold that they used to make the Black Light Hulk uh, from the Funko Shop exclusive drop. This is the exact mold from that right there. Again, Age of Ultron Hulk right there. And we can drop that one if you want me to load him up. I could put him on deck. Nice. Boo taking home the Domino's Noid shirt. Very nice. Put that off to the side, and let's do this. We're going to run next, since we don't have our figure stand up, we're going to run our Conan cereal, which he has. He actually has cereal in here. Let's put it actually on this side. He's got cereal in there. And then here is the Team Coco. We'll turn this off, actually. Team Coco, SDCC 2019 right there. And again, we have Super Conan right here, busting out of his shirt. Again, a pocket pop, but it does not have a hole in the top. So we'll put that up right there, and we'll start him off um, at a dollar for one minute. Box and pocket pop only. Box and pocket pop only. Mm, this one actually has cereal in it, so I know it says box and pop pop only, but it's, it actually does have cereal in it, so you get cereal too. Do you want to try it? Again, SDCC 2019. This was a shared exclusive with GameStop. So you could have picked this up at GameStop if you wanted to get this, but this is from the, the Conan series that they dropped that year through GameStop. This was one of the things that dropped with it. Uh, John 3. Love the Disney. Day. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, dude, I have like five of that, five of those Hulks, uh, Force is Strong. The Darth Maul Mini, you got it. I got a Darth Vader Mini as well and a Kylo Ren one if you're interested in any of those. Star Wars villains. I could toss those up with them all if you want. Nope. Shawarma is still here. Uh, Burner. Bernier. Uh, Shawarma and the Venom Deadpool. Cool. Here is the Metallic Venom Deadpool Pop in a Box exclusive. Right there. Metallic Pop in a Box exclusive Venom Deadpool. If you want me to run that, I'll put him on deck as well. And then the Shawarma shirt is new. It was just taken out of the package because I showed it off in a video. And this is a 3X Shawarma shirt. Riddler taking home the Super Conan cereal. All right. Toss your pocket pop in there. All right. Like I said, most of the stuff I've already used for videos, so anything we get out of them just goes back into the channel again. So, yeah. Just goes back right back into the channel because I've already, done, already used these for videos. I've already showed off the little pocket pops um, in them. So... The cereals and stuff and some of the t-shirts, like I said, they're just here for you to go back to their forever homes. We're going to throw up this Age of Ultron Hulk. Um, 
See if there's any Hulk fans in here. This is a 2015 pop right here. Let's turn our little rotator on. Get that going. I got a Toilet Ninja. We got a Shawarma Time shirt coming up. We got a Darth Maul mini. I got a Slimer Pocket Pop from the Slimer cereal coming up as well. I actually have two Slimers. Two Slimers tonight. And we got some more T-shirts as well. And then you want to see in the bottom corner, just let me know. There's a little tag right there. Click that tag. If you see something you like, let me know. I'll toss it up. Um, if you want something you want me to run, let me know, and I'll run it. But this is going to be the Avengers Hulk from Age of Ultron 2015 right now. Let me catch up on chat. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Yankee. How's it going? Welcome, everybody, back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Bilbo Poppins, how's it going? That is a really cool scare glow icon. I dig it. Card Hunter OG, how's it going? Wesley Cobb, how's it going, dude? Welcome, 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 Wesley Cobb. Good to see you in the chat. Oh, not much, dude. Just selling some out of box pops tonight. Very excited to get these into their forever homes, you know? Right now we got 2015 Age of Ultron Hulk right here. This is, um, again, all, everything tonight is going to be out of box, whether it's pops, minis, or T-shirts. They're just not, if they're from a T-shirt bundle, they just don't have the pop in them. It's just a T-shirt tonight. So we have Funko hat. We have a Thanos backpack coming up. We got a sealed, actually, I do have one sealed T-shirt bundle tonight. It is the Target Con 2021 one with the Target dog pin for you at Icon fans. Nice. Avengers, Age of Ultron Hulk going to his next home. All right, let's toss up this Darth Maul mini. For you Star Wars fans out there, we got a very nice Darth Maul right there. Check that out. Very cool, right? Let's get him started. I'll catch up on the chat. Darth Maul 2017 mystery mini. Target shirt. Uh, you want me to run the Target shirt, the sealed one? The Freddy Funko, okay. Okay. What's the Caddyshack one? Uh, the Vault Boy, you got it. What up, B-Cobb? Welcome back, man. All right, Caddyshack one. This is the Bushwood Country Club sealed. So it's got the uh, Bushwood uh, Country Club right there, CB CBC. And then um, this one actually is the one that uh, Danny Boy used to wear in the movie. He was uh, Ty Webb, which was Chevy Chase's – he was his caddy. So this was the hat that Danny wore. Danny Newman was his name, actually. Danny Newman. Is his name, but that's Bushwood hat. This is sick. I'm actually wearing one right now because this is one of my favorite hats that Funko actually put out. I mean, I have like five of them still, but I'm gonna part one of them here with you guys today. Schwarmer shirt, you got it. Target shirt, Schwarmer shirt, run the hat, you got it. Yeah, exactly. If you like Caddyshack, that's the hat for you. I mean, Danny Newman, that was the I think the only hat he wore in the movie. So, but right now we have a Darth Maul 2017 mystery mini from the Star Wars line. Like I said, this one dropped. We got a Vader one as well. I think no, Vader's 2019, so they're not from the same wave, but got a Vader one. Boo taking home the Darth Maul. Very, very nice. And again, combined shipping tonight for everybody making purchases of four items. They batch them together. Here's the Shawarma Time. You guys have been asking for it. Here's the Shawarma Time t-shirt, 3X right here. This is Amazon exclusive. Uh, we're going to drop this one next. And any other shirts you guys want to see, let me know. I'll put them up here for you. Uh, shawarma. Shawarma. There we go. 3X. Started at a dollar for running for a minute. Garfield. Yep. Garfield. I'll pull him off at the side too. I got Dark, Dark Phoenix, Garfield, Freddy Funko, Advent Calendar coming up. We got Vault Boy Cereal. I got a tiny... Uh, what is it? Toilet Ninja. The Toilet Ninja coming up. And we got all kinds of pops that we sold tonight out of box. I'm broadcasting on YouTube as well. If you want to see some Warzone footage while we're running our auction, you can see me and Mr. B-Cobb and Just Call Me D playing some trios on YouTube. I got it sharing my screen over there. So so we got Avengers Swarma, the X-Men X -Men t T-shirt. Do you want to see the Dark Phoenix one, Chief Toys? Or, uh, Victor, do you want to see this Cyclops one? Venom, Metallic Venom. Yep, got him right there. Put him over here as well. Both. You got it. We're on them both. If you like Jean Grey, you like Dark Phoenix, you probably like her uh, her lover. 
Cyclops. Let's see, we got nice. We'll catch up with chat here. Pew pew. Yeah, pew pew. That's right. Again, we got the shawarma time t-shirt here. Let me show you guys the shawarma t-shirt. Here's all of them eating a shawarma. This one is going to be some kind of a huge piece that Amazon is putting together. All these characters snap into place together. So that is the full scene right there. So if you're into the set of putting these together, this might be the shirt for you. There's Bruce Banner right there off to the right, which is, I actually have that one. And then you got Thor, you got Iron Man, you got Hawkeye, you got uh, Black Widow, Captain America over there. Shawarma time. 3X on that one. Again, another one of those rare Funko shirts that are not black. Because we know how much Funko loves putting the designs that they do on black t-shirts. I actually have a My Hero Academia Tenya shirt coming up. Nice. Taking the Shawarma shirt. I have a Tenya uh, shirt coming up as well from the Tenya t-shirt bundle. If you guys want me to run that right now, I could definitely do that for you. Let's do this Garfield one. We got this Garfield ringer tee. Lasagna. This is uh, what is this? A weathered ringer tee. Let me see what size is this one too. This is a two X, two X on that. Oop, let me put that, fold that back down. Two X on that. It is opened up. I did demonstrate this on the channel, but again, it is here for you. Sorry, that one dollar, and I'll show you the design for this one. So again, it's a ringer tee. So it's got a ring up top, and it also has rings on the sleeves as well. It's a gray t-shirt. Like I said, one of those rare gray t-shirts that Funko does. That's not a black one. And it's Garfield. They're ready to eat some lasagna. It says Garfield's lasagna. So a lot of these t-shirt bundles, I'll buy a bunch of them. And I'll display them on the channel. And then I'll sell some as well. Or I'll keep some for myself. I actually have one of these Garfield ones in my own personal collection. I had to get a, I had to size up on this one. I had to get a 3X because the rings, they almost were a little bit too tight. So... Alex Cop, what's happening? Yeah, right. What up, B Cop? Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Nice. Chief Toys, what's happening? We got the Garfield Ringer T right now. Garfield's lasagna. There he is, that weathered Ringer T. It's got that look to it. It's a cool one. Definitely different than most of the other stuff that they put out. It's almost, it reminded me of a lot like the Felix, the Felix the Cat one, because the Felix one was like, intentionally like meant to look aged oh i have teen wolf shirts too you gotta run one of these teen wolf shirts you guys want me to run a teen wolf shirt let me know i got an extra large i have two extra larges on that all right 10 seconds left on this the slimer pocket pop here is the slimer pocket pop bernier there you go it is a slimer pocket pop that does not have a hole in the top so this came out of the cereal force is strong taking home the garfield tea you're getting some good shirts tonight sir it was good. All right. Here is NYCC. Let's run it. Let's run it. NYCC 2019 Dark Phoenix. I'll show you the shirt here in a second. This was one that I opened up on the channel as well. Let me actually turn this. We don't need that spinning right now. Um, Dark Phoenix shirt NYCC. This is a large. So it's a large. Keep that in mind. I'm going to run a lot of 2Xs and 3Xs tonight. This is a large. So it's got X-Men on there. It's got Dark Phoenix, and you can see she is ready to wreak havoc. Check that out. Pretty cool, right? Again, another one of these black shirts. Funko loves doing black shirts. I think like 60% of the shirts that I had were all black. But that is the design right there. Again, the Dark Phoenix right on the front there. And then after this, we're going to actually – I'm going to run one more shirt, and then we're going to hop back to some Pocket Pops. After this one, we're going to run the – Cyclops one. That is first appearance of Cyclops right here. This is a GameStop exclusive. Actually, both of these shirts are GameStop exclusive. This was an NYCC 2019 shared exclusive uh, GameStop shirt as well. So and this this came in a pocket pop or a pop T bundle. That's what that was. So nice. Chief Toys with the snipe. My Hero Academia. That shirt size is large. Large for that one. That is a sealed Tenya. Right there. Sealed Tenya shirt pretty dope right and we also have a tenya mini we're going to be running here in a little bit we got a bunch of my hero minis that we're going to be running here in a bit whoop got a vader mini we're going to be running up here soon let me know which one you want me to run victor taking home the dark phoenix 2019 nycc shirt very cool next we got the cyclops i'll show you this one in a second as well Again, these shirts that are open, not in bags, I previewed them on the channel here. 
for a video, and then they just went right back in the box. Um, oh, yeah, I think I have it under X-Men, don't I? Yep, Cyclops shirt. Start the auction. Whoops. One dollar. All right. You want me to run a little bundle? Okay, let me do that. I'll run a bundle for sure. Let's do that. I can do two bundles too tonight. If people are interested in the My Hero Academia mini bundles, I could do that for sure. Let me give me two seconds here. I'm gonna um, yank some of these down. We we'll yank that one down, and then the next one was Todoroki. Todoroki, we'll end that one. We'll end the De Deku. We'll end that one. And then the last one is this girl with the tongue. I don't know what her name is. Um, M-H-A. Uh, Suyu. Suyu. Let's get rid of that. All right. And then I'm going to create one. I'll do a quick ad here, and then we'll add this, and then I'll catch up with chat. Just give me a second. We're going to do it as an MHA. I'm going to call this MHA Mini Bundle, and I'm going to call it number one just in case everyone wants me to do the same with the other ones. I could do that for you as well, and I'm going to put in here four minis, four minis. All right. So I got that created. I'm going to catch up with chat, and then we'll run that My Hero Academia Mini Bundle if you'd like. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me catch up with chat. Nice. Victor taking home the Cyclops shirt. Very nice pickup. All right. Let me see here. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, I know, right? Exactly. Teen Wolf shirt. Teen Wolf shirt. And then Fantastic Four. You want to see the thing? Because I have the thing. Mystery Mini. From the Fantastic Four, or I also have this display box, which has Galactus on the backer card. Here's the Fantastic Four display box. Again, it has the Galactus backer board right there. So that is the Fantastic Four item that you see on there for Fernandot. So, all right, let's get back to let's get back to tossing some of these up right here. Let's toss up this cereal that you guys have been asking me to do. We'll pop this one out and we'll run this. Then I'll catch back up with chat again. Let's turn this back on. So this is the Vault Boy cereal, and this is the Vault Boy Pocket Pop with no hole in the top. Again, a GameStop exclusive. This one would go good with whoever got the Nuka Cola Girl. Um, tonight. All right. So next up, next up on deck, I got a Toilet Ninja, a Slimer. A My Hero Academia mini bundle, a Teen Wolf shirt, and then I have this Freddy Funko Advent calendar we're going to run next. And then I think we'll get into some more pops. I got a Han Solo and Carbonite, a Pac, uh, Miss Pac-Man, Tomato Head, Vivian Campbell from Def Leppard. Vivian Campbell from Def Leppard is going to be coming up as well out of box. I also have Ghost from Game of Thrones. For anybody who's a Game of Thrones fan, we have Ghost here. Jon Snow's Dire Wolf. Pretty cool, right? Out of box. Um, Omega, I have two Fortnite pops for you gamers out there tonight. I have Omega and Tomato Head. For you Star Wars fans, we still have a Darth Vader mini, a Kylo Ren mini, and we have oh, his head got a little turned. We have a Han Solo in Carbonite, which would look great next to any Boba Fett figure that you might have in your collection. But right now we got Vault Boy up there. This is a GameStop exclusive Vault Boy. It is the box and the pop. There's no cereal in this one. No cereal in this one. Um, a couple of the ones I had tonight had cereal in them, but I believe those are all sold at this point. So, Vault Boy right now. Yankee, welcome back. Dr. Paul, how's it going? Twisted Sailor, how's it going? The Caddyshack hat. You want the Caddyshack hat, right? All right. Put the Caddyshack hat in queue. I'm excited to sell that. That's a good That's a good item. The Target shirt, please. You got it. I'll put that one with the Teen Wolf shirt. Run that one. We got a couple more shirts that are sealed. We got a Jim Lee one that's sealed. I have an Aquaman Jim Lee Deluxe T-shirt, um, which only came with the Pop T bundle. So it's the, I believe it came with the black and white Pop, but the shirt is colorized. 
Nice. The Vault Boy cereal is going home with Nightmare Pops, I believe. If it would, yep, it ended it. All right. There we go. All right. All right. Let's toss it up. Here it is. We'll toss it up here. We got the Caddyshack hat. This is going to be the Danny Newman Bushwood Country Club hat. Now, starting this off at a dollar, we're going to do it for a minute. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this is one of my favorite hats. I'm actually wearing the hat right now. Um, I probably have another five of these sealed just because I like wearing these hats so much. And it has Caddyshack logo on the back and it has the embroidered patch on the front, which says Bushwood Country Club right there, CBC. And again, Danny Newman, which was Ty Webb's caddy, wore this in the movie. So no, not this hat, but this was the style and the exact design that they did was from him in the movie. So let me know if there's something that you guys want to see or put up right now on deck. The Joker is gone. Joker's gone. Sold Joker earlier tonight, which was the 1989 Joker. And that was the last one that I had for the evening. All right, now we got the CBC Bushwood Country Club. Again, Danny Newman's hat, Ty Webb's caddy. This was the exact design hat, and Funko just made it. This came in a Target exclusive box with the Flocked Gopher from Caddyshack as well. This was a 2019 drop. This was actually one of the first YouTube videos that I did was reviewing some of the Caddyshack um, Funko Pops. Not YouTube video, YouTube Funko videos, I should say. <laughs> was one of the Caddyshack sets that I reviewed. So, Again, still sealed in the bag for this one. Nice. Taking home the Caddyshack, Bushwood Country Club hat. Nice, nice, nice. Good snipe on that. Next, we got this metallic Deadpool Venom coming up. This is a pop-in-a-box exclusive. They dropped the regular one, uh, and then they did a pre-order for this in the spring of last year, and they ended up dropping it in into people's hands in October. So this, uh, this one took a little bit, and then COVID happened, so then it kind of ruined that. Let's see here. Um, then... Um, Deadpool Metallic 2020. Start off at a dollar. All right. Let's check up with chat here. Batman, PSM King. Batmans that I have left. I have Justice League Batman and a Jim Lee Deluxe Batman. And that's all I have Batman wise left. Um, I have Catwoman as well. But she, he's not Batman. That's not Batman. But yeah. Uh, any other Fallout? No, I sold the Fallout Nuka Cola Girl earlier. Mad Max? No. Venom Deadpool? That's what's up right now. Um, yep, yeah, I can put both of those up. Kid Robot? Any more Kid Robot? No, MB. Those are gone, actually. Sorry about that. Here is the Justice League Batman. Let me know if you want me to put that one up. Or if you want me to put up the Hush Jim Lee Batman that was removed from a diorama as well. So let me know which one of those. Boo, and I got your Target Con t-shirt in line along with Teen Wolf. And then we got My Hero Academia minis coming up as well. So, Okay, cool. You got it, PSM King. I'll put them both up. And if you want that Catwoman as well from the Jim Lee, I can run that one also. You want me to run the It box? You got it. I'll run the It box. I also have a Lord of the Rings box tonight. And I actually have two Universal Monsters Display boxes as well. We have a display box for the Universal Monsters, which I might run that with after the It. So we'll see. Put the It one aside as well. Bending the Ink Machine, no shirt. So Skytown. We got Venom, Deadpool, Metallic right now. This is a pop in a box exclusive, dropped in 2020. It was announced and pre-orderable right before COVID, and then the delay brought it up to I think October when they finally got it in people's hands. So. Nice. Victor taking home Metallic Venom Deadpool. Very cool. All right. Let's do let's do this Target Con 2021 t-shirt bundle here. This has a Target dog pin in it. This has a pin in it. Um, there it is right there. So it has a little uh, Target Bullseye, the Target dog, I think is what it's called. Bullseye. Bullseye the Target Dog. I think it's an enamel silver pin with the red and white accents. And this is a sealed pop and pin T, and it's an extra large size. Again, Funko. Everything tonight's Funko. This is the only new sealed thing that I had tonight in this auction. I didn't want to toss it in my other auction because it was apparel, so I figured I'd keep it with this. Welcome back, everybody. 
Welcome back. Anything you want to see, let me know. In the bottom corner here, there's a little tag. You can touch that and see what items I have left available. If you want to see it or you want me to run it, let me know in the chat. Drop it. So we got another auction coming up next week. I believe next week's my comic auction. So I'm going to be doing modern comics. Um, I got a full short box that I'm going to be running next week. Um, I got sets, runs. I got graphic novels. Everything has been new, uh, bagged and boarded. So next week's going to be really fun uh, with the comics. Um, I even have comics up for buy it now. Right now I have Walking Dead comics up. But everything uh, that I'll be entering in over the next probably week or so, you'll see it gradually fill in there. So make sure you save that if you want to get some comics. Nice. Boot taking home the Target Con 2021 with pin. All right, here is Teen Wolf, another Target exclusive, Teen Wolf. This is Scott Howard, uh, basically with his headphones on, going through the halls of his high school. And he is on a side profile. We'll start this off at a dollar. Let me show you the design here. All right, so here is the design for this. Again, Scott Howard, played by Michael J. Fox. He's kind of got the side profile there. Them going down the hall there. Teen Wolf, it says on the bottom. Again, one of those rare shirts that Funko did that was not black. I'm going to fold this and toss this up here on the turnstile for you right there. Again, we got Scott Howard, the Teen Wolf. Again, an 80s movie, 80s hit up there. All right. On deck, I got a Freddy Funko advent calendar and a My Hero Academia four-pack of minis. We're going to run those together as a little bundle. Because we do have a lot of minis, actually, from My Hero Academia. I could probably do another bundle if you guys want me to. Let me know. Um, and that other bundle, I could probably put five in, actually, because I could probably put this 10 one in with it. So and then I'll have an All Might left over. Might just do that, actually. Let me just do that. While this one is running, I'm actually going to remove those other ones. Nice. Force is strong. Taking home the Teen Wolf T-shirt. Great pickup on that. Let's do this. I'm going to run the My Hero Academia first mini bundle. There's the frog girl. Don't know her name. Here's Todoroki. Probably butchering that name. Here is Deku. Probably butchering that one. And All Might. Definitely got that one right. We know All Might. All right. So it's a four-pack bundle on this one. I'm going to run this one, and I'm going to create the other one for the other five minis. It's, it's going to be another bundle just like this, only it'll have a Tenya mini. So let's start this one, and then I'm going to remove the other ones, and then I'll catch up on chat. So give me two seconds, and I'll catch up on chat. All right. All Might. Delete. Deku. Delete. Tenya. Delete. Todoroki. Delete. Suyu. Delete. And then I'm going to do another My Hero Academia mini bundle. MHA mini bundle and this one will say five minis so one person will get four one person will get five and that'll allow me to understand which one is the difference all right one just gets the 10 all right let me catch up on chat and see where we're at on here honey baby tomorrow you got it i got that one i got the honey baby here is the honey baby with accessories so here's the honey baby another little mini i got from hashtag larry i'm not into designer toys this was from a random collector's box swap box so it wasn't something that he sent me personally. It was just something that would have gone to anyone who went with him. There are some stickers that comes with it. And there's like a little sign that comes with it as well. So I'll put that on, on deck right now too, the Honey Baby. Another designer toy coming up. All right, seven seconds left on the My Hero Academia mini bundle. We got four minis here. You got Deku, All Might, Asuyu, and Todoroki. Nice. Skatone taking it home. Very, very nice. All right, all right. Let's move on to something a little different here. Let's try this out. We're going to try it again. I'm going to turn the turnstile off. We're going to try it again. We have a It box here. This is – I collect these. I like using these to put stuff in sodas specifically or minis or whatever you want to store in them. But if anybody wants to grab this, start off at a dollar. And it is a mini box. It has all the mini designs on the outside. It is a It Chapter 2 designer box from Funko. Again, some people who are collectors do like to collect these and get these in their collection. You can't get these anymore. So I figured I'd put some of them in the auction tonight. Whatever does not sell tonight will get put inside of a mixed salad at the end of the night. So 
You're not hurting my feelings if you don't bid on something. It just lets me know if you guys like them or not. Who collects Funko stuff? Winnie the Pooh. You want me to run the Winnie the Pooh? Okay. That one actually has a backer board, which is great. All right. Sorry, DJ. Uh, closed the app out, and I would restart it. Welcome back, everybody. MB taking the snipe on the It Mystery Mini box. Again, a Funko collector probably has a ton of these in their collection, but some of these are a little more harder to find than others because they're not around anymore, like this It one. I mean, you could probably found this anywhere at any Hot Topic like two years ago, but MB taking it home. Nice. All right, let me put that over here in the sale pile. And let me grab... I'm going to throw up one more just so you guys can see another one. This is my Winnie the Pooh one that I have, which also has a backer board on this one as well. The backer board just slides right up in the top right there. And again, another. this is probably the only Disney thing that I have up here tonight. So let's run it. Again, I know Funko collectors definitely keep these. Yep, I can pull up the X-Men Angel. I know de people definitely keep these to store stuff in, whether they store loose pops, loose minis, or sodas or whatever. But this is the Winnie the Pooh one, which I think this came out in 2018. So this is a three-year-old box in regards to you not being able to get it. Here is Angel. Got some minis left. Got some shirts left. Got some Batman stuff next. Bat one of the Batmans are coming up next. And I got some Slimer cereals I want to show up here, too. We got some shirts. I got a Jim Lee Deluxe we're going to toss up as well. And we got a few more display boxes we got. I got a Fantastic Four one, a Lord of the Rings. We have Universal Monsters display boxes. You want me to toss any of those up? I have an Avengers one. And I got two more cereals too, actually. A Cheer Bear and another Conan. All right. No bids on the Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh is going to the end of the night pile. With the ad icon box. All right. Let's toss something else up. We're going to toss up this Justice League Batman right here. So this was removed from a diorama with the Robin. Someone bought the Robin earlier. So that actually goes with this Robin right here. They're both removed from the same diorama. I'm going to pull this up. We're going to run it. And then I'm going to catch up on chat. So Batman Justice League popped removed from a diorama. I don't know what I was going to do with this. Maybe use it for a custom or something, which I'm sure you could probably figure something out to do with them. Actually, I have a soda auction, Chris Styles. if you want to check it out. At the end of the month, right now I have 12 cases of soda put aside. If you want some soda, make sure you hit the little star button in that auction um, to get reminded when it's coming up. Like I said, right now I have 12 cases of soda, and we still got four weeks left of, of May uh, to collect more sodas for that auction. So um, There's going to be a lot of sodas in there for sure. Yep, I can show you those absolutely. Jay, Jay Strider, that's going to be at the end of the night. So the last thing of the night is, is the salads. I'll run the, all the salads at the end of the night. So whatever doesn't sell will be put in those salads at the end of the, end of the night, and then that will just be run. If I have enough from each category, I'll break them up. If I only have like maybe five or ten items total, I'll just bundle everything up, and it will be one salad. So I'll delete the other ones, and we'll just run one salad. Lord of the Rings, you got it. I'll show those and the monsters. The Lord of the Rings one's cool because it's from the plushy thing. It actually has a larger backdrop to it. I don't know. I'm into the boxes. I don't know if a lot of people are, but I am. So that's why they're here for you. Justice League Batman going to boo. Like I said, this one was removed from a diorama. It was the Batman and Robin from the 80 years little diorama. Like I said, I don't know what I was doing with this one. Maybe took it off for a custom or something a while back. Change my mind. Which sodas? Uh, tons, dude. Tons. I got chases involved. I got, I think, four or five chases going to be there. Fantastic Four and the Felix. You got it. I'll pull the Felix and the Fantastic Four. Um, I haven't put out any of the sodas in yet. Like I said, I'm still – I still got them in my cart right over here. So I'll definitely have them. You got it, Force of Strong. Those are called MK Cubbies. So these backdrops right here, these uh, black backdrops that hold the pops, these actually hold pops in protectors. So like you can see my Webigail, she's in her protector, um, and she slides right in there. It's a, called an MK Cubby. 
and it ends up having they have two of these the white ones and the black ones the black ones hold it with protectors the white ones just hold the pops without the protectors nice cisco taking home the justice league batman from the diorama very very cool all right Here's going to be something different. We got another designer toy here. This is another Paka Paka joint. We got a toilet ninja. You can see him here with his lasso of toilet paper. Let's do the toilet ninja mystery mini. Start the auction off. All right. Can you see the widow and the Captain Marvel? Absolutely. So yeah, MB again. Uh, MK Cubbies. You can check them out on Instagram. I've reviewed them on my channel. If you want anybody who wants to subscribe to me on YouTube and check out some of these. Reviews that I do, it's a reasonable gentleman. Go check it out. All right, what's the Captain Marvel and Black Widow? Here is comic Captain Marvel. Again, a pocket pop without a hole in the top. Did you collect? My YouTube channel is The Reasonable Gentleman. It is the same name on here. And there is Black Widow. Yep. Um, got like 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. You should be able to find me on there for sure. I've been doing YouTube videos since 2016, made over 1,500 videos on there, I do a lot of reviews. I've been reviewing Funko Pops for just about two years now. Um, I do daily videos on there. I upload Monday through Sunday. So every day I drop a video at uh, 8 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Mountain, so and 5 a.m. Pacific. So every single day you can count on that, dropping videos. Nice. Yeah, it should be sponsored by GameStop for sure. Hey, yeah, that's right, B-Cob. I grind it out. That's for sure. Nice. Cisco taking home the Toilet Ninja. Nice. All right. Let's throw up this Honey Baby. Honey Baby. This is a designer toy. that, Like I said, I got this from Hashtag Larry in a random swap collector's box. It was not intended for me particularly. But I know people like designer toys. So this is the Honey Baby. It comes with these little Honey Baby stickers. And there's a sign for the stickers. I'm going to lay this up here by the stand. And that's the Honey Baby in the underpants. I don't know the differences between the underpant versions. But I know it's a designer toy. And I know that the, what is it? Plastic capped? Plastic capped. Honey Baby Tomari. We'll start that off. 2019 this one is. Oh, yeah, and the gaming channel, too. Yep. We upload daily to the gaming channel as well. Gaming channel Scrooge McDabs. That's over there on YouTube as well. If you want to check that out, I usually do some duos and trios with Just Call Me D and B Cobb. So you can check that out as well. Yeah, Rainbow Sherbert. Blacklight Sherbert. Force is strong. Welcome, welcome. Pretty your fan. How, how's it going? Welcome, everybody. Appreciate y'all for stopping by tonight. Again, we got uh, auctions coming up pretty much every week now for the rest of the month of May. I have them scheduled out till June, actually. So there's an auction for everything. So we got this uh, Tamari Honey Baby up on the stand right now. Welcome, 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 everybody. Tonight we have a out of box pop mini and apparel auction. I'm doing uh, t shirts, Funko, Funko t shirts. Out of box pops, out of box minis. We got some Funko cereals left. We've gone through a lot of great stuff tonight. We also have the mixed salad coming up at the end of the night. Nice, taking home the honey baby. We have the mixed salad coming up at the end of the night, which is going to be everything that has not sold tonight being sold in one large lot. All right, let's toss up my last Batman for the night. We'll get him off my my queue over here. Now this is a Jim Lee Deluxe. Batman, which was in with the Green Green Lantern diorama. Again, I don't know if you may make an ornament out of it, hang it up somewhere, but it's it's clean. It's from a gym, like I said, it's from the Jim Lee Deluxe. It's a Jim Lee Deluxe stylized version of Batman. And uh, he is actually kneeling to the, the power of the Green Lantern. I can run Ghost, absolutely. Everything tonight is out of box, Funk Mint Corey. Everything tonight is out of box. I had about 100, 100 pops, minis, and shirts tonight. So I ran them all in one auction so I don't dilute my actual Funko auction that, you know, has new minty, you know, inbox pops. So I figured anybody who's coming for, for out of box stuff is going to come to this auction. Out of box pop collectors, this would be perfect for them. People who have these pops already but want an out of box version, this is a great auction for you as well. 
But in about three weeks, I have an inbox pop auction, which I got over 120 pops. I got 3,000 piece pops in there. We got chases. We got grails, all kinds of stuff. I got 12 cases of soda coming up in about four weeks. We're going to be popping. I probably have like maybe 15 or 16 cases of soda total um, for that auction. I got chases put aside already. We got sealed sodas. Uh, chances of chances of chases on those sealed sodas as well. There we go. And let me flip this around. Nice. All right. Boo taking home the Jim Lee Deluxe Batman. Very nice pickup on that. All right. Let me run this fantastic four shirt from the Collector Core box. And then we'll get loaded up with Ghost. We've got Slimer. So I'll show you this Fantastic Four shirt in a second. Let me get it queued up, and then I'll catch up with chat. There we go. Um, Fantastic Four shirt. This is an extra large Fantastic Four shirt. Now, this Fantastic Four shirt is an Amazon exclusive. This came in the Marvel Collector Core box, and it has an actual comic front on it. It even has a little date in the corner, as you can see. It's got all four of them. You got Ben Grimm, Invisible Girl, you got the Human Torch, and you got Mr. Fantastic. This is a superb shirt. Again, one of those shirts that's not black from Funko. This is a light baby blue, and it looks great. This is a great shirt. Unfortunately, it's not my size. So this one didn't really work out for me. I did get it in my Collector Core box, but it's here for you guys. I showed it off on my channel. It's the only reason why it's not in the bag, but never been worn. It's here for you. I'll toss it right there. So... Let me catch up on chat and see if there's anything you guys want to see. Thank you so much, Force of Strong. Appreciate you, man, for covering that. Yep, Ghost is up. Funkin' Mint Corey, you got it. Angel, Captain Marvel, and Ghost. You got it. Angel. I'll pull Captain Marvel out, and we got Ghost. A lot of people have been asking for Captain Marvel tonight, so I think we're just going to run Captain Marvel next. Let's see if we can get... Yeah, I should hold it. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing tonight? Catwoman, you got it, boo. I'll run Catwoman. We will do that. That is the Jim Lee Deluxe Catwoman, I believe. Where's she at? Here she is. Jim Lee Deluxe Catwoman. Welcome back. Luke the Pop King, how's it going? <clears throat> is that baby Yoda with a lightsaber? That's pretty cool. What's up, Jar Bear? How's it going? MHA shirt and Q, you got it. I can put it in Q. Tenya, size large. Force is strong, taking home the Fantastic Four shirt tonight. Very nice, good sir. Great pickup on that. All right, here is here's one of my favorite pops from the Game of Thrones line. The only thing better than this pop is the flocked version of it. So we have Ghost, Jon Snow's Direwolf from Game of Thrones. This is a 2019 pop. So I think the second release of this pop, um, beautiful color white. Going to add a box, but it doesn't have any stains on it. It's not yellow or anything like that. So it's actually good, a good condition for this particular type of pop. But uh, again, the only thing better than this is going to be the flocked version of it. Wolverine, Catwoman. Oh, you want to see the Wolverine, huh? <clears throat> Wolverine's cool. Check this out. So I got one of these tonight I threw in here to see if you guys are going to dig it. But I got a miniature Wolverine. It's even smaller than a mini. So like a normal mini, a normal pocket pop. Here's Miles Morales. A normal pocket pop, and that's the size of Wolverine down there. Pretty cool, right? So I tossed one of those in there. It was originally a pen topper, but I had a couple extra of these, so I figured, hey, we'll toss one in the auction, see if somebody wants a little miniature Wolverine. So if you want me to run that, I'll run that. Yeah, exactly. It's a good shirt, too, Force is Strong. It's a good one. It looks like a comic cover. There's not many that Funko does like that. They're usually kind of cutting edge or new edge or new wave Funko stuff. So I also have another Moth Gideon shirt coming up. We got another Teen Wolf shirt. I got another Felix shirt. We got the Tenya shirt coming up. And I also have a Aquaman Jim Lee Deluxe t-shirt coming up as well. So we got five seconds left on Ghost from Game of Thrones. Mini Spider-Man I do. I have Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen. Nice. Metal Monkey taking home the Ghost. So I have Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen. If you want me to run these, let me know. Again, these are pocket pops that do not have holes in the top. Because that does mean something, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you're displaying those. 
Ghost is going to another home. Very nice. Let's toss up this one you guys have been asking about all night. I'm going to toss it up. We got Captain Marvel. So there's a Captain Marvel pocket pop right here. And this has no hole in the top, of course. But this is classic comic Captain Marvel. This isn't the one from the movie. All the minis tonight are going to be comic characters. There are no MCU ones in the minis that I have. Yep, they're all comic characters. And I even have this OG Black Panther. Check this one out. OG Black Panther from the comic. I actually thought this was Prowler when I took this out of the advent calendar, but nope, it's Black Panther. OG. All right. Tenya, Force is strong. Tenya is a large. I know, yeah. Oh, sorry. Greetings, everybody. Professor Pop, what's happening? How's everybody doing tonight? We got an out of box pop auction tonight. We're doing minis, pops, and Funko apparel. Apparel wise, I have probably about five shirts left. I have a Thanos backpack. If you want me to run the Thanos backpack, let me know. Um, we got some two cereals left, three cereals left. We got minis. I got pops. We got some display boxes left. Anything anybody wants to see, throw it in the chat. I'll put it in queue. If you want me to run it, let me know. If you want me to run it in the chat, and I'll do that too. I'll put it in queue. Welcome, welcome. Oh, the backpack's sick. Let me let me run this one, and we'll pull the backpack out. The backpack is sick. Metal Monkey taking a Captain Marvel mini. You got it. The backpack is sick. It's a hard shell Thanos face backpack. They made a Black Panther and a Thanos one. I have the Thanos one. Welcome, welcome. Metal Monkey taking the Captain Marvel mini. Very nice. All right, here is the backpack. Let me show you the backpack. It's a very impressive bag. It's new with tags. Here is the Thanos backpack. I can't really even get it in the frame. Um, it's got like this really cool Funko zipper. Check the zipper out. And it's like metal Funko logo zippers. They're kind of heavy duty too. So Thanos backpack. Got this at GameStop. So if you want me to run this, I'll run this. Why don't we just run this? Because it's already here. I already have it down. I mean, it doesn't fit in the frame. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's, it's here. It's here for you. And I'm going to list it. Because I don't, I don't need it in my collection. And maybe somebody wants to carry. I mean, this would be a great bag to go to a convention with, for sure. I mean, what's going on? How's it going? Nice. See, Ryder, we got Angel coming up next for you. Don't worry. We got Angel coming up next. We ran that Captain Marvel for you, though. Fredo, what's happening? Ant Dog, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Victor, welcome back. We got the Thanos Funko backpack right here. It's a, uh, oh, here's the back. I should show you the back, right? Here's the straps and stuff, you know, beep, beep, straps. Um, here's the inside. It's got this, uh, like a tech, that's got like a tech pocket in here. I don't know what you call that, like a tech pocket to put like a laptop. It's even got like a gear pocket here. Um, it's pretty wide open. It's basically just the size of his face. And it has these like heavy duty zippers on it. Check these zippers out. I don't know. I think the zippers are actually kind of cool. They almost look like little Funko keychains. But Marvel. And this is the Thanos from the movie. Actually, this is the uh, Thanos from the Endgame movie. So, Or Avengers movies. So, Like I said, picked it up from GameStop. Uh, they had a Black Panther one there, too. I didn't know what I was going to do with two backpacks, though. Cheer Bear. You got it, Metal Monkey. I'll put Cheer Bear on deck. I also got Slimer cereal coming up as well. All right. Chris Stiles taking home the Thanos backpack. Nice pickup on that. All right. Uh, let's do Angel next because when you guys were asking about the Angel one, then I'll run some more T-shirts after this pop. Run some more T-shirts. I got another My Hero Academia mini bundle. It's a five-pack with Tenya in it, so let me know if you want me to run that. This is Angel. From the, it's an Amazon exclusive. This is from the collect the collector core box, and this was removed from a diorama as well. Or he doesn't have his stand with him, I should say, on the back there. And I guess you could put any stand in there if you wanted to. But there is Angel right there. Start him off at a buck. Again, uh, collector core Angel backpack is gone. Cheer bears on deck. We got T-shirts. 
All right, so I'm going to shout out some T-shirts. Let me know which one of those you guys want me to run next, and then I'm going to run the Advent calendar. So I'll run a T-shirt and then the Advent calendar. We'll jump into Cheer Bear. I got Catwoman, Darth Vader Mini. We got a Slimer. So what T-shirt you guys want? I got a Tenya, Aquaman, Teen Wolf, Moff Gideon, Felix the Cat. Let me know which one of those you guys want me to run next, and I will run it. Again, t-shirt wise, we got a Moff Gideon, Teen Wolf, Felix the Cat, Atenya, and we have the Aquaman. Oh, and the Wolverine Mini. You want me to run that? <clears throat> you got it. All right. <clears throat> Poppin' Missouri taking it. The Aquaman. What size is Aquaman? Aquaman is medium. Aquaman is a medium. So what up, B Cobb? Welcome back. Pepe, what's going on? Moody Giant, how's it going? Welcome. Nessa Pops, how's it going? Pepe, that's right, is bidding right now on a out of box angel. See Kreider. Moody Giant, welcome back. Force is strong. Run that Felix. You got it. We run that Felix. That'll be the next shirt we run. And then I'm going to do that Freddy Funko advent calendar because that one is a it's 23. Little ones. Nice. Angel is gone. Angel is gone. Right now, I only have two items. Two items in the mixed salad bin, which is a good thing. Because that means we're only going to run one of those. We're not going to run multiples. So it'll only be one salad with everything in it. So we got a sealed Felix the Cat shirt here. This is from the 100th anniversary. This is a Target exclusive shirt. Again, it's got that, that weathered aged look to it, which is really cool. And again, it's got that 100th anniversary right there logo on the shirt as well. Felix the Cat, pretty cool, right? Sealed shirt, Target exclusive. I'll catch up on chat here. Let me get this Felix auction running. All right, let me see. Uh, run the Felix. Oh, nice. Well, at least I got one of the three I wanted. Nice. Yeah, no worries, man. And like I said, uh, didn't you want? Didn't you want the Slimer too, there, Jay Kreider? Oh, no worries. Holly, buddy, what's going on? Right now, Force is Strong is taking the Felix the Cat 100th Anniversary shirt. This is killer. Killer shirt right here, for sure. 100th Anniversary Felix the Cat, 2019 to 1919, I believe. Is that what it was? 2019 to 1919. I thought it had it on here, but I guess it doesn't actually tell me. I think it's 2019 to 1919. So 10 seconds left, Metal Monkey with the win right here. MHA bundle, you want me to run that? So the MHA bundle is going to be five minis from My Hero Academia. The Tenya, the um, Lizard Girl, the Frog Girl, Todoroki, Deku, and All Might. Um, I don't know what her name is. She's the Frog Girl. Frog Girl. I'll probably never need to know her name ever again after this auction. All right. Let me do this. Here is one of the Universal Monster Boxes. Let's toss one of those up. Whoop, let's turn this off. Turn the turnstile off. All right. Here is one of the Universal Monster Boxes. You guys were asking about, let's run one of them because I got two of them in here. So this is a Mystery Mini Display Box. I know a lot of people collect these. Again, to put stuff in, you can put your sodas in this. You can put loose pops. You can put anything you want in this. But people do like to collect these and store stuff in. You can store your Pez in this. So, again, um... I figured I'd toss them in this auction to see what you guys want. You guys have already bought a couple of them, so let's see if you guys like this one. I also have a Lord of the Rings one left. A Lord of the Rings one. I have an Avengers one, and I have a Fantastic Four one left. So, yeah. We'll see how this how this does. spider Gwen and the Miles. You got it. I'll put them aside. And then, mini-wise individuals, I have Black Widow. I have Black Panther. I have Ben Grimm, The Thing. I have Darth Maul, Darth Vader, Gamora from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. We have Slimers and a Wolverine Mini. And like I said, I have that, that whole MHA that whole MHA lot. So, Boo, taking the Universal Monsters box. Very nice pickup. Again, they're really cool to store stuff in. I like to store my Pez in here, personally, because you could fit three rows of Pez. So... Nice. Taking it home. 
All right. Now let's toss up another mini. We're gonna toss up. We're gonna talk, we're gonna call him Micro Wolverine because he's a micro, a micro mini. So here we're gonna toss this back on, and we're gonna have Micro Mini Wolverine here. Custom Super Conan, you got it. Wolverine Pocket Pop Mini Pen Topper. There we go. A great little mini to have around. I have the Venom one. I got the Hulk ones. I got a Scare Glow one. Scare Glow one's my favorite, probably. Let me pull this one up and show you guys. So Scare Glow one's probably my favorite. One of these little little pen topper minis. Here's the Scare Glow. He glows. If you want to see the glow on this Scare Glow one, you can check out my Instagram, which is the Reasonable Gentleman, and I have pictures of him charged up with the UV light. He looks sick. Um, but they're little pen toppers. They just come off the top of your pen. You can see the little hole underneath him right there. It just goes back on top of your pen. But you can you can take them off, and they're just little mini pops. I don't know. I think they're cool. They're like miniature miniature miniatures. Custom Super Conan, you got it. Black Panther, I'll pull him aside. Custom Super Conan, this is the mini MAGA Super Super Conan custom that I made. You can run that. We already ran the She Hulk one earlier. Beebs with the snipe, nice. Again, we got Micro Wolverine here, the pen topper. Again, compared to a regular size. Pocket pop, you can see that. Beeves taking it home. Nice. All right. We'll put him over here with the rest of your stuff. All right. Let's do let's do this guy right here. Let's run this Tenya shirt. So I got this My Hero Academia large Tenya shirt sealed in the pack. GameStop exclusive, I believe. Um where is it? MHA tenure shirt large. Boom. Start. We'll do a minute on this one. Started off at a dollar. So again, large, sealed, tenure. My Hero Academia. Anime fans, this is it right here. We got anime-wise tonight left this. I have a bundle of My Hero Academia minis. I have five of them put together. I have a loose All Might, and that's all I have left for anime tonight for you guys. So Again, this is a this is from the Tenya T-shirt bundle from GameStop. It's a large sealed shirt in here, and in the in the uh, mini bundle that I have put aside for my hair academia, we also have the Tenya mini. So it's going to be Tenya, what Todoroki, Deku, All Might, and this Lizard Girl. I don't know who she is. I forget. I forget her name. But yeah, the Lizard Girl because I deleted the auction, so I don't know what her name is anymore. Anything you guys want to see, check down this little tab right here. Hit that little button and uh, see what I got available. If you want to see something, toss it up. If you want me to just run it, let me know. If you want me to run the bundle? Thought she was Frog Girl. I don't know. <laughs> She's a Frog Girl. <laughs> All right, the MHA bundle next. We'll run that next. All right, Skate Tone taking home the Tenure shirt. Nice pickup there. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's run this. Let's run this mini, the MHA mini. Because you guys want these minis. Let's run them. All right. So, we'll run it. We'll start it. So, we got Lizard Girl. We'll put her right there. We got that Tenya doing that kick. Todoroki right there. Then we got All Might. And lastly, we got the Deku, which completes the whole line right here for the ones that we had available tonight. Cause I think I had at two of each one of these at one point, except for the Tenya, I believe. So, all right, Miss Pac-Man, you got it. I'll get Miss Pac-Man out. Freddie Funko. That's right. We got to run the advent calendar. I'm going to run the advent calendar next. And then we're going to, then we'll move back into some pops and minis and t-shirts and stuff. I got cheer bear coming up. We got super Conan custom. We got Slimer cereal as well. And we got a little Slimer mini too, as well. Let's run this bundle, and then we'll get into the advent calendar. I'll do an extended auction on that one. We'll run it for two minutes, and then I'll be able to show you everything that's inside the little bundle pack. But like I said, Beefy Bravo with the snipe. Nice. Nice. Welcome back. Funko Pop Collector 101. Welcome, welcome. We got out of box pop auction and mini auction tonight. We also have out of box T-shirts from Funko Bundles, which are also at auctioning off tonight as well. Uh, everything tonight is out of box. We had enough auction items to do one huge auction with all of this. Welcome back, Forces Strong. Nemo Pops, hello, hello. So we're just running one auction tonight. 
with all this stuff in one. It's just kind of a, a mixed grab bag of goodies for out of box or out of uh, out of box, I guess, collectors or bag collectors if you're a mini collector. Chris Stiles, eighteen dollars on the mini set. Nice with the snipe, beefy Bravo. Very nice, very nice. All right, coming up next, we got the Freddy Funko Advent Calendar full of pint-sized heroes. It is a Funko Shop exclusive, so you can only get this through Funko. And not only that, but uh, wait till you see some of the Freddies that are in there. There's a Gold Freddy in there. There's an Ice Freddy. There's some good stuff. The salads, JC, JC Ryder, is everything that does not sell tonight. Anything that doesn't get a bid gets put aside. And then I rerun it all at the end of the night. So if there's enough stuff for me to break it up into categories, I'll do that. But it doesn't look like there's going to be enough to break it up into categories. It looks like it's going to be one salad with everything that it doesn't sell tonight. All right, the bundle going to Beefy Bravo for 30 bucks. Very nice, good sir. Very, very nice. All right, there is the Beefy Bravo bundle over there. All right, let's do the Freddy Funko Pint Size Hero Advent Calendar here. So this is the Freddy Funko Advent Calendar. There is the Funko Shop. Where are we at here? There is the Funko Shop sticker right down there. Beep, right there. So in this calendar, let me slide this out. You get all kinds of stuff with this one. So in this Advent Calendar, you actually get a you get some kind of like diorama. You get a diorama to set up for Freddy Funko. Let me pull this off over here to the side. We'll balance this up here. You get like this like little diorama to set up. The F Freddy Funko's in front of. Pretty cool, actually. It's even got some of the little, the little Funko, Freddy Funko dolls there as well. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start this auction off, and then we'll go through each one of the little figures that are in here. I'll try to pull them out of here out of the box. It'll be almost like, uh, like I'm opening it again on video. So here's what I did. I just basically opened this on a video. I did uh, 24 days of Funko or whatever, and then I just opened one of these each day for 20, 2019. So... I just had it put aside, so we'll run it for you guys. Let me do this. Freddy Funko 23 figures. We're going to run this for two minutes. I'm going to do a two-minute one on this one, and we'll start at a dollar. Okay. So good news is some of the better ones are up here in the top corner because I put them up here to start off with. So it comes with one of these gold Freddy Funkos, which is the crown point for this particular bundle. So a gold Freddy Funko. You have a silver and gold Freddy Funko with a silver crown. So these, the top three that I'm showing you are the most expensive ones from this. So then there's the Ice Blue Freddy Funko Translucent. So those are the three most expensive ones from that. That's like the, the grails, if you would, from it. But you also get ones like Freddy Funko as Snowman. You'll get ones like Freddy Funko Sledding. There's, like I said, there's 23 of these. Freddy Funko as Gingerbread Man. And I think the last day was the gold one. Freddy Funko is reindeer. Freddy Funko in PJs, Christmas morning. Little drummer boy, Freddy Funko. Check that out, little drummer boy. And we got, again, Christmas sweater, Freddy. Whoop, that one's gone. There we go, got it. All right. I'm trying to get through all these for you guys. We got another... Little Freddy in a Santa, oh, Santa outfit. Christmas outfit. We got Freddy Funko in PJs. Christmas morning. And we got Elf Freddy. He's dressed up as a little elf. We have Inverse Elf Eddie. Or no, that was that's another one. This one is Nutcracker Freddy Funko. This one is another Elf Freddy. There's the inverse. Like I said, the we're in about the last 10 seconds for this one, but I do want to show you the, the top three grails in this little collection is the Gold Freddy, which is a Freddy Funko Gold. The Silver and Gold Freddy. Nice. With the snipe, the Silver and Gold Freddy right here. The Silver Crown. And then obviously the Translucent Blue one, which is in door number three, which is the Ice I shot Freddy right there. So uh, fully translucent on that one. And if you guys want, looks like Metal Monkey is taking it. I'll go through, you can go through the rest of it. You can check them all out yourself. But again, the Gold Freddy is the grail from this. I'm going to push these in so none of them fall out. 
All right. And again, this is going to all ship to you the way that you see it here, Metal Monkey. It's going to be in the diorama box with the slip cover on it. Again, a Funko Shop exclusive. This dropped with those Fun Freddy Funkos in it. Let me put the little diorama in there. All right. Let me move this off to the side. Nice. Freddy Funko. Let's run Miss Pac-Man next. Let's get some pops back up here. I love pops. Let's show them out. Let's get them up here. All right. Now, this is an OG Miss Pac-Man right here. Uh, 2015. So, OG Miss Pac-Man. I think they dropped all the ghosts, Blinky and all them. They dropped them, I think, the same time they dropped her. So, let's load her up. 2016 Miss Pac-Man. Whoop. Well, we're running there for two minutes, I guess. I didn't. We're running her for two minutes, guys. Sorry about that. If you're tuning in on YouTube. I see two people over there tuning in on YouTube. We got some Warzone footage here playing with B Cobb. Just call me D on the uh, right over there. And on the left, you can see a little preview of what I got running in regards to my pop auction. Thanks for stopping by on YouTube to watch the auction. So, up next, we do have some. We got Miles Morales Mini. Spider Gwen, Black Panther. We got some T-shirts. I got a Catwoman coming up as well. Jim Lee Deluxe. We got some more pops, and I got a few more minis. I got some display boxes. I think we'll run the Lord of the Rings one next in regards to the boxes. And then we got the mixed salad coming up at the end of the night, everybody. Pew, pew. Yeah, pew, pew. What year and info on the pops and minis I got from you? Um, Beads, why don't you do this, Beads? Shoot me a message on Instagram. And we could do that then because um, I'm not going to be able to look that all up right now, dude. So, yeah, shoot me a message on Instagram. It's uh, reason The Reasonable Gentleman. The Reasonable Gentleman on YouTube, Instagram, on any platform, that's going to be me. So, you want to find me, that's my name. We got Miss Pac-Man right now. We hit two minutes on her. We shouldn't have, but we're going to run it out. Welcome. Welcome. Fresh Made Collects. How's it going? Seabone, how's it going? Rock TM. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. We got out of box pops tonight. Something you don't see on whatnot, but we're doing it big here. We're doing it different. Uh, we did had over a hundred items tonight that we started out with, and uh, it's all been pops, minis, t-shirts. Uh, we're down to the last thirty, so we're we're two thirds through the auction tonight. We got a, just a little bit left, but still good stuff. I saved some good stuff for the end. Don't you worry. We still got Han Solo and Carbonite, and I still got a Darth Vader mystery mini. Coming up. So Force is strong. Taking home Miss Pac-Man. Very nice pickup there. All right. Let me pop this. There we go. Miss Pac-Man. We'll put her back there. All right. Let's run this. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do him, so I'm just going to put him right here on top of the base. Because he doesn't actually – I'm not going to be able to put him onto that. So we'll run Han Solo right now. Let's run Han Solo in Carbonite. If you're a Boba Fett fan – this is the piece for you. If you're a Star Wars fan, this is a piece for you. There's Boba's bounty right there. You can see him frozen in carbonite. He is a, a bobblehead. He has a little bit of a bobbler to him. They had to do that for the licensing with Star Wars because they're not allowed to make a, It's not even a figure, which is weird because it's him frozen in carbonite. So it's not even like a figure. It's a piece of square plastic. So I don't know why they needed to actually make this a bobblehead. But they did for the licensing agreement with Star Wars. So there we go. All right, anything you guys want to see, let me know. Down in the corner here, there's a little tag. Just hit that little tag. You can see what items I have available. If you want me to see it, if you want to see the item, let me know. If you want me to run it, let me know that too. I could do that. But coming up next, I'm going to run some more T-shirts. We got some cereals. I got some display boxes. We got some more minis on deck. I got Miles Morales, Spider-Gwen, uh, Black Panther. We got Catwoman coming up. We got Gamora. We got... Black Widow, we got Slimer, we got All Might, Darth Maul, Kylo Ren, not Darth Maul, Kylo Ren and Darth Vader. Carried, taken home, Han Solo and Carbonite. Very nice pickup there. All right. Let's run. Let's run this Slimer cereal since we don't got the figure stand up. So this is going to be the Slimer cereal in with the box. And I have one of these Slimers without the box. So here's the Slimer. And again, he's a pocket pop without a hole in the top. And then 
I'll start this and then I'll show you up close of Slimer because I have two of these. I have one I could actually show you up close while this one's on the turnstile. All right, here you go. Here's here is Slimer. This is the Slimer you get. You can hide him around your house like an elf on the shelf if you want. Play hide the Slimer, but he is a pocket pop without a hole in the top, and he comes with this nice empty box that you can that you can display him with or whatever. It's a GameStop exclusive Slimer, so you can only get it at GameStop if that makes any sense. It seems like a lot of the cereals drop through GameStop and box lunch, but we got a. OG Slimer, like I said, GameStop exclusive OG Slimer from the Ghostbuster wave. This is from the 35th anniversary of the Ghostbusters, actually. This was when this dropped. So uh, 2019, I think, is when this is from. 2019, yep, 2019 is when this is from. So, All right, let me just catch up with chat here and see what's going on. Yeah, no worries, you're welcome. The Beetlejuice cereal was a Hot Topic one. Yeah, like they did a couple through Hot Topic. I, Hot Topic got all the black cereals, I think. They got the black and purple and the dark blue ones. Um, the ones you just don't want to eat, you know what I mean? Poppin' Missouri, taking the Slimer cereal. Very nice. Conan, Miles, and Gwen. Conan, got it. Miles and Gwen. They're up here ready for you. I'll run them next for you, man. I'll run the Conan next. Nice. Slimer Funko cereal going to Poppy, Missouri. Very nice. Take home on that. All right. Let's do let's do this custom Conan. So this was a custom Conan SDCC 2019. And we did him up with the with the blonde hair. <laughs> As you can tell. <laughs> so we'll put him up here. I'll let him rotate on the turnstile for a second, and I will load him up. So where is the Super Conan? Where is the Conan? Maybe it's under Custom Conan? Custom Super Conan. All right. What up, Bilbo Poppins? Welcome back. Welcome back. We got the Custom Super Conan here. This is a 2019 SDCC exclusive Conan, which I did a custom out. I gave him blonde hair. I did this, I think, like two years ago. But again, any pops don't go tonight. We'll go into the mixed salad for the end of the night. Catch up on chat here. Black Panther, you got it. I'll pull the Black Panther. Put that with Spider Gwen and Miles for now. Uh, th some of them did, but this one does not have the cereal in it. So some of the ones I did sell tonight had cereal in it. New boxes of cereal, but this one does not. Commodore, how you doing? Perez, welcome, welcome. We got a Super Conan here from SDCC 2019. GameStop shared exclusive custom Super Conan. Beep. Jay Salazar with the snipe. Naruto, I am Adam Naruto. I had um, two two Naruto's tonight that went nice. Jay Salazar with the snipe taking the custom Super Conan. All right, now again, you make multiple purchases tonight, you can get a discounted break on shipping. All right, let's run Miles Morales. So this is comic book Miles Morales. He is a pocket pop without a hole in the top. Start him off at a dollar. And then I'll show you up close. Some of these minis, I kind of need to get them a little closer for you. But there is Miles right there in his suit. And again, we got Spider Gwen. We'll run her next. And then I got this Black Panther one as well. I also have Teen Wolf. I have three T-shirts left. Three T-shirts left. I'm going to crawl them out to you guys. You let me know in the chat which one you want to see. I got Teen Wolf, Moff Gideon, or Aquaman. Aquaman is a medium. Mav Gideon is a 2X. And Teen Wolf is an extra large. I also got a Cheer Bear cereal that we're going to be running next as well. Teen Wolf, you got it. Run that Moth, you got it. I'll run Teen Wolf and Moth, you got it. What up, Space Ghost? That is an awesome name. I dig it. The Tiger, welcome. B Dot, how's it going? We got Miles Morales Pocket Pop right now on the stand. We got out-of-box pops and minis tonight in this auction. 
Then Darth Maul is taken home. Look at that dark seed. Funko Shop exclusive. That's awesome. All right, Miles Morales, four bucks. That's a good pickup right there. All right, next, let's run this Teen Wolf. I'm going to run Teen Wolf T-shirt XL sealed. This is a Target exclusive Scott Howard Teen Wolf dollar for one minute. Again, there's Scott Howard right there. He's got the headset on. He's going through the halls of his high school. And again, this is the Teen Wolf from the 80s. It's got that weathered look to it. It's really cool looking. And again, sealed extra large. So anything you guys see in the bottom corner, there's a little tag right there. Hit that tag and see what items I have available. If something you want me to put up here so you can check it out, let me know. If there's something you want me to run, let me know that as well. At the end of the night, anything that does not sell tonight will be put into the mixed salad at the end of the evening, and I will be selling all of those items to one lucky person at the end of the night. So again, don't feel bad if you don't want to bid on something because someone's going to get it at the end of the night for a good deal. Slimer, you got it. We got another Slimer. One more Slimer left. One more Slimer there, JoJo. We'll toss that one up. All right. We got the Scott Howard Teen Wolf shirt right now with the snipe bid there is scott howard right there played by michael j fox in the movie teen wolf the original one what's omega oh omega is from fortnite so this is omega from fortnite it's a fortnite pop i actually have two fortnite pops tonight left we have a tomato head and the omega crit pop taking home the teen wolf shirt tonight great win on that one awesome 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 Again, these are all shirts that I either opened up in a video like this Moff Gideon one. This was opened up on a video, and I just put it back in the box. So there is the Moff Gideon. We're going to run the Moff Gideon one next. Like I said, most of the stuff tonight was probably done in a video for me. So it's already been – for me, it's already been utilized to its fullest capacity. How long did it take me to get the whole set in the back? I bought the whole set in the back in one shot. I bought all of these DuckTales pops in one shot. Now, I have these Funko Shop exclusive Mickey and Minnie ones from Huey Dewey and Louie. Those I got along the way. These Donalds, I just got this Donald one in today. I got the Funko HQ exclusive Sleepy Donald. We got the Hollywood exclusive regular Donald. You know, we got the NYCC one. So all those, like, were pieced together. But these DuckTale ones, I got all these in one shot. Like I said, it's my favorite fandom right now to my main collection that I collect at, like the Boba Fetts, the Venoms. But DuckTales is number one for me. So I got the Japanese Scrooge over there. We got Scrooge in the money. I got the 10-inch Scrooge above me. So there's the Moff Gideon. This T-shirt this actually came in a glow-in-the-dark T-shirt bundle with Moff Gideon through Target. Again, that's him coming out of his TIE Fighter right there with the glow dark saber right there, which is really cool, right? Yeah, Gamora, Gwen, and Panther. You got it. You want my minis? I got them. I'll put them up for you. So, again, we got Moff Gideon. It just opened up for the channel. It's a new shirt. I should open it up to show it off on the channel for people when I was doing the review. But nothing wrong with the shirt. All right. I also got a Ben Grimm, the thing, that we're going to run here soon, too, as well. We got the Moff Gideon, played by Giancarlo Esposito, who played um, Gus Fring in Breaking Bad. Nice. Watts taking home the Moff Gideon T-shirt. Very, very cool. All right, you guys were asking me for this one for a little bit now, and we're going to run it because we got the Cheer cheer Bear cereal. I got out of the Funko cereal game. Your benefit, you get some of these cereals that I opened up here on the channel. So we got the Cheer Bear one. It's gone. One buck, one minute. Let's start it. You want to see the Gamora? Here is Gamora. So this is comic Gamora from the Guardians of the Galaxy. So this is the one from the actual comic book, not stylized from the MCU movies. Like I said, all of the minis that I'm doing tonight are all comic minis. None of these are stylized from the MCU. There is Black Widow, obviously, from the comic. And then we have comic Black Panther, which you can tell clearly that that is not the movie Black Panther. I actually thought it was Prowler at first, but it's not. It's Black Panther. So anyway, we've got Cheer Bear right here. This one is a box lunch exclusive. It came with pink cereal. It tasted horrible. But the mini is really cool. It's, again, it's a pocket pop without a hole in the top. Those are my favorite kind. And you got the box here. There's no cereal in the box. I tasted it in my review of this. But I got the little mini and the, and the box here for you. I've been saving it just for this auction. 
Uh, here's the All Might right here in his action pose. Uh, Mini-wise, tonight I still have Ben Grimm. We have All Might, Darth Vader, and Kylo Ren. Any Star Wars fans out there looking for some of these minis, let me know. I'll put them in rotation. And I got a couple pops left. We got some display boxes, some T-shirts. Let me catch up on chat and see where we're at. Care Bear Stare. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Do you have a large collection of pops? Uh, 1,200 pops. Yes, about 1,200 pops. Winnie the Pooh display box. I already ran the Winnie the Pooh display box there, JJ Simon. Do you want me to rerun it again for you? I can rerun it again for you. Before it goes into the, um, let me see here. Hang on. Oops. Get me out of here. Cancel. All right. Metal Monkey taking home the Care Bears Funko cereal. Give me two seconds here. I'm going to add this box. Uh, Winnie the Pooh display box. We're going to run this one. Run two. I'm gonna do run number two because that's what it is. Confirm. Uh quantity one, yes. Confirm. All right, let's run that one again for you. How's that? This is gonna be the Winnie the Pooh display box. And this one has a backer board on it. So again, I know a lot of collectors like to put their stuff inside of these to store them, whether it be sodas, minis. Out of box pops, loose pops, anything, whatever you want, you can put inside these. But they're little display boxes. This one is my only Disney one I had tonight. And it's a Winnie the Pooh one. It's got Christopher Robin there. You got Eeyore. You got Pooh and Piglet. And again, this is a 2018 box. So you're not going to be able to find this again. And if you're a Disney collector, this is something that you probably want to have on your shelf. Like I said, I like these personally because you could fit three rows of pop pez in here. And then you can fit five this way. So you're holding like 15 Pez in, in this one box that are Pop Pez. And that's how I like to store my Pop Pez in these little boxes. Um, so let's do Winnie the Pooh. We'll start that at $1 for one minute, and then I'll catch up on chat. Do you have a Jolly Roger or Scooby-Doo Creeper? I do not. I am sorry about that. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, look at that. All right, I'll pull that out. How many Pops are left? I got three Pops left, J JC Ryder. Uh, what other T-shirts you got, baby Taz? I got a Jim Lee Deluxe T-shirt left, and that's it. Jim Lee Deluxe T-shirt, and that's it. We're going down to the, we're coming down to the wire now. So we got the Winnie the Pooh box right now, the display box. I think somebody was asking for this one. This is a 2018 Disney display box. Again, I like to collect these display boxes, especially with fandoms that I'm into. Jason Glow Chase, no, I do not. That would have gone already tonight. All right. Poppin' Missouri with a snipe. Very nice there, good sir. Living like Larry, how's it going? Downey, how's it going? Welcome, Michael, how's it going? The mini Batman. Mini Batman. What mini Batman? What mini Batman? Pop in Missouri taking home the Winnie the Pooh display box. Very nice. These are really cool. I dig them. All right, let's do the Lord of the Rings one while we're here doing display boxes. This one's an extra wide one. So here's the Lord of the Rings one. It comes with this nice Freddy Funko little Freddy Funko approved. I don't know if you see that over there in the corner, Freddy Funko approved. But this is a Lord of the Rings display box. And again, we'll start this one off at a dollar as well. If you make multiple purchases tonight, uh, up to four purchases, you get combined shipping. So you pay one price, no matter what you what you buy tonight. If you buy this display box and you only pay a dollar for it, and you bought other things tonight, you really only pay a dollar for this. You don't have to pay a dollar plus three fifty. So, Holly, buddy, welcome back. Welcome back. Had to kill him. How you doing, Yak? Welcome, Argentine Prince. How you doing? Mini Batman, Darth Mar. Which one are you talking about? Bella Pig, welcome back. All right, Crit Pop taking the Lord of the Rings display box right here. Very nice. Holly, buddy, what's going on? Is there anything you're looking for you want me to throw up there? Uh, I 
thought I saw you show a caped mini pop. I think I got, I think I sold that one already. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, the Avengers display. I'll toss the Avengers one up actually right after this one. It's, uh, I believe, from the end game wave. Nice. Script pop taking the box. The Lord of the Rings. Like I said, these are display boxes that I had in my collection, but I still have a ton of these. I just don't need all of these, if that makes any sense. Here's my Avengers one that I had. This is from 2019. Uh, it's got all the characters on there. You see Thanos on the side. There is Hawkeye. Or no, that's not Hawkeye. That's the whatever ninja version of Hawkeye. And then uh, all the other characters on the front. Where's the Avengers at? Avengers Endgame Funko Mini Display Box. Let's hit it. One dollar. One dollar. I think Darth is talking about. Um, I have Kylo Ren left. Star Wars wise, I have Kylo Ren Mystery Mini. If you want it, let me know. I'll run it. And I have a Darth Vader Mystery Mini. This is OG Vader. 2019 Vader, 2017 Kylo Ren. Let me know and I'll run those. We have some minis left. I got some pops left. We're going to run a pop after this. Nice. Yeah, Vader. Yep, I got Vader. What up, JJ Simon? Already ran that Winnie the Pooh box. Black Panther, you got it. This is the Avengers one right here. So this is the Avengers Endgame. You want the Kylo? I'll run the Kylo. You got it. What up, Venom? So again, this is the Marvel Avengers display box from 2019. Some people will collect these to put stuff in, so use it for storage. That's what I like to do with them. And once they're gone, they're no longer around. So let's see what we got in chat here. Crit pop with the snipe. <laughs> Music in the background tonight is going to be Mega Drive. One of my favorite synth bands. If you guys like synth wave, check out Mega Drive if you don't already know who they are. Nice. Crit pop taking home the Avengers display. All right, let's run, let's run a pop. We got a pop. We're gonna run Vivian Campbell from Def Leopard. Very cool. Get that that curly hair. Check him out. All right, Vivian, let's get him loaded up. This is a 2020 pop. Again, Vivian Campbell from Def Leopard. Let's turn this turnstile back on. There we go. Uh, let me catch up on chat. All you have are minis. Um, left, it looks like, yeah, most of the stuff I have are minis. I have three pops left and a pop T and some displays, yep. And then we'll do the mixed salad. So, yeah, we're almost at the end of it for sure. About 20 items left, it looks like, and most of those are minis, yep. Uh, what tower are you talking about? For the figure? Oh, I got this on eBay. Um, I wanted to get one that elevates because if you could see the text kind of goes to here. So I wanted something that would elevate the pop above the text. Cause most of the times when you're like watching people in auctions, you're like watching like this Iron Man inside of all this text. Like you really can't see what's going on. So I wanted something that's like above it. Cause there's always like space in everyone's auctions above the text and it's not making them any money. <laughs> When you're not showing stuff. So Watts Kraken taking the Vivian Campbell for a buck. Nice. The box that this Vivian Campbell came in was destroyed. <laughs> I look like I ran over by a damn car. All right, let's run this OG Darth Vader. I'm going to put big ring on the Vader. Let's run this OG Vader. There is Vader right there. Let's see if it'll hold him by his. There is Vader. It's holding them all right. Darth Vader Mystery Mini. This is a 2019 Mystery Mini from the Star Wars Last Jedi wave. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what wave it's from. But let's throw out Ben Grimm next from the Fantastic Four. And again, any of you guys want to see, let me know. I'll put it up to show it to you, or we could uh, we could run it. If you just let me know, just say run it, and I'll run it. Let me catch up on chat here. How's everybody doing? We are awesome tonight. Hope everyone else is doing awesome too. Tonight we are doing a mystery mini and Funko Pop out of box auction. Everything tonight has been out of box. Um, we've been doing t-shirts tonight that were out of box as well. Some t-shirt bundles and you had to buy the bundle to get the shirt. So a lot of people picked up a lot of good deals tonight. Fortnite, you got it. We'll run them Fortnite ones for Nandot. 
Welcome back, man. Thanks for coming to another auction. Funko, we stand. Good to see you. Kingpin, how's it going? Noah. Storm and Norman, how's it going? Hoodie wear. Autism queen, what's happening? Welcome, 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 everybody. Tattoo God, how's it going? Dan Fireman, nice to have you tonight. Catwoman, you got it. We'll run Catwoman next. All right. Welcome, welcome. Again, tonight we got all out of box. Minis, pops, t-shirts, apparel, Funko stuff. It's all Funko tonight, but it's all out of box stuff. A lot of people picking up a lot of good deals tonight. A lot of good deals tonight. We got Darth Vader right here going to Mr. Metal Monkey. Three seconds left on the clock. Ooh, with a snipe. Snipe, snipe. Welcome back, JJ Simon. We got the mixed salad coming up as well. Mixed salad coming up as well. Let's see what we got going on here. Mixed salad. Metal Monkey with a snipe on the Vader. Welcome back. What up, Ruby's Cube? How are you doing? How's everybody doing tonight? Metal Monkey taking home the Darth Vader Mystery Mini. Very nice pickup there, good sir. That is a cool little mini. All right. Speaking of minis, let's pop up one of my favorites. He's about as close to the Hulk as you can get. Uh, let me actually swap this out. He needs a bigger. He needs a. He needs a big boy. A big boy ring. All right. Here's the big boy. The big boy ring. He's about as close as you can get to the Hulk without being the Hulk. We got Ben Grimm, the Thing, from the Fantastic Four wave. This is a mystery mini. We're gonna start off at a minute with a dollar. H. Johns, what's going on, man? Welcome welcome back. How's it good to see you, man? Thanks for coming to another auction. Appreciate you. Elias with the, with the bid on the thing. That is a Ben Grimm mystery mini there. Now, the cool thing about this Ben Grimm mystery mini is Funko actually did a nice rub with some dark paint, some dark brown paint, and it actually went into the cracks and crevices, which really gives it actually a really nice detailed look to it. And each one of them is actually unique because of the way they did the rub. So each, each stylized way that they rubbed it on there is different. But you can definitely tell it's rubbed on there, which is a little extra step that they should be doing. And most of their stuff, like the zombie pops. What up, K Titus? How's it going? Thanks for stopping in, man. Thanks, Ken. Appreciate you. JJ with the snipe. JJ with the snipe. All right, everybody. Next week, Thursday. I got a comic auction. I'm doing all modern comics. Everything is rebagged, reboarded, brand new Ultra Pro sleeves, uh, beautiful comics. I got runs. I got sets. I got an Aquaman set, which is number one to number 25, a whole run of Aquaman comics. I got graphic novels. Um, we got new stuff post-2000. We have comics from pre-2000. Um, like I said, I got a whole short box full of comics, and I'm going to be loading those up this week. For you guys for the next auction next thursday so be on the lookout thing is gone there's the thing he's gone all right let's run omega from fortnite let's see if there's any fortnite gamers out in the crowd tonight we'll run let me get the larger ring for this guy this uh this tower stand for these figures has really worked out well tonight especially the two different size rings that they gave me to run for these pops and minis because like the thinner ones, this smaller ring has been working really well at holding the pop at least upright for me. So for out of box pops, this works out perfect. Let me run Fortnite Omega, and then I'm gonna catch up on the chat. We'll start off at a dollar. Sergeant Rock, I do have Sergeant Rock. I probably have about 20 Sergeant Rock comics. Um, I did not pull any for the auction, but Force is strong. If you want me to pull a couple for that, I will do it for you, man. I'll throw them in there. And obviously, all my comics are always boarded and bagged. I keep them in my boxes, my long boxes, so they don't get all jacked up. Red Death's foil cover from Dark Knight's Metal. No, I do not for this auction. Sailor Moon Pops. I do not have Sailor Moon Pops. Sorry, Stargirl. Welcome back. We're going to be running the mixed salad at the end of the night for whatever stuff does not sell here. Right now we have Omega on the stand. Fernandot taking the Omega from Fortnite. Is a 2018 pop. It was one of the first waves of Fortnite pops they dropped. He is a metallic 
Uh, and they also dropped a glow in the dark one, I believe, of this one. I thought they did glow in the dark Omega. I'm not sure, but he has a he's metallic somehow. They did a metallic version of him. I thought maybe a glow in the dark one, but maybe not. No, that was Dark Voyager that was glow in the dark. This one I think is just Omega. I don't think they did an exclusive. I do not. Sorry, H. Johns. Nice with the snipe taking home Omega. Very nice. Great win on that. See, that's why this out of box pop auction is good because it's stuff that I don't need anymore and it gets a new home for you guys. And you guys actually might already have some of these, like I said, in the box, but you don't want it in the box anymore. Let's run Catwoman next. This is Jin Lee Deluxe Catwoman. See if I can get her in here. There she is. All right. Let's load her up. Jim Lee Deluxe Catwoman. This was removed from a diorama as well, the Jim Lee Deluxe diorama. There she, let's see. She's all kind of she's kind of cranked. She turned up. Let me turn her down a little bit. There we go. There we go. Right there. She's kind of in there. Let me load up Catwoman Jim Lee Deluxe. Removed from a diorama. Started at a dollar for another one. Marvel Zombie Pops. We sold all of our zombies. I had a black uh, Panther and a Wolverine tonight. Those are sold. Yeah, she was. She was definitely turned up, that's for sure. Paper Fake, how's it going? Sasuke said, how's it going? Welcome back. Yeah, right? Exactly. All right, next up on deck, I got a Jim Lee Deluxe Aquaman t-shirt bundle. This one comes with the box, so you guys are going to like that. And then left... Whoop. There goes Black Widow. Where's she going? There she is. Black Widow. Falling all over the place. We got some minis left. I got pop left. I got one pop left, actually, after this. And then Beebs with the snipe. Nice boo with the snipe. Um, do I have Cara Dune minis? No, I do not. And if I did have it, I probably would be selling it. <laughs> hey, John, for sure. If I had that Cara Dune, I wouldn't be selling it. That's for sure. Nice, Boo taking home the Catwoman. All these pops need homes, you know what I mean? They're, what were they doing here? They weren't doing anything for me. So let's get uh, let's get this Aquaman Jim Lee Deluxe. All right, so this comes with the box. Unless you don't want the box, but uh, I figured I'd give it to you guys anyway. So this is the box. It has, let me turn off the turnstile. So it's got Aquaman, comic Aquaman. This is comic, not the... Uh, Whatever, Jay Momoa or whatever his name is. This is not him. This is the comic one with the blonde hair. And then the t-shirt is the same. So it's here it is actually the t-shirt's in the bag, but it's not sealed. So but this one was folded over. Let me show you the design and then we'll start the auction. This is a medium. There is the design right there, which is really cool. He's just championing that evil little villain. I don't know what the heck they're called. Know a lot of stuff, but I can't know everything. So whatever that little demon's name is, he's he's about to harpoon it, and he's got a wave cresting behind him. It looks really cool. It says Aquaman on there. Again, colored version. Uh, the pop that this came with was not colored. Uh, it was in a black and white fashion. You get the box as well that it came in, which is cool. Again, this is a medium, so if it doesn't fit you, it might fit somebody in your life that you might want to. Get them the shirt so you can watch them wear it. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want to do with it. It's a medium. <laughs> and I'll put it back in the bag there for you. All right. And there it is right there. And again, you get the box as well with that. All right. Where are we at here? Let me... Yeah, you do have to look for them for sure. I, Darth Maul, I got Slimer. I could put that up. This does not include the pop. This is just the t-shirt. This is all um, out-of-box stuff tonight. So it's not nothing new and sealed. So Michael's taking home the Aquaman Jim Lee Deluxe tonight. Nice pickup there. Medium. Very nice. Like I said, everything tonight was either unboxed on my channel or it's something like this, which I just have around. Now, this is Target exclusive Fantastic Four display box. It has the backer board with Galactus on it. Backer board with Galactus on it right there. I have one of these as well for myself. This is an extra one. Again, this is a Target exclusive Fantastic Four box right here for display. 
Again, combined shipping tonight. So if anyone grabs this for a buck, you don't have to pay three fifty shipping if you made other purchases tonight. Up to four items can be combined together, and after that, they charge you another round of shipping. So you can get like four items, pay one shipping price. Doesn't matter what it is. H. Hey, Johns, you got the Cara Dune four hundred three for sale. Which one's that? That's the season two Cara Dune. That is the new Cara Dune. With the stylized hair and her martial outfit. My channel name, Poppin' Missouri, is The Reasonable Gentleman. You can find me on YouTube and on Instagram. Hey, Pop Couple, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Funko Pop Collector 101. Zombie Pops, I did my Wolverine and Black Panther earlier tonight. Tonight we are just running the last few items here. Uh, Fantastic Four is going into the mixed salad pile for the rest of the night. Next, we're going to be running our Kylo Ren mystery mini and then we have an all might and then i also have the slimer black panther spider gwen and let's do hmm i guess we'll do him like anyway he's gonna kind of be crooked hang on let me get this other i'll use the other one for this all right we got kylo hooked up now there's Kylo Ren right there. We'll just put him up. So we'll raise him up above that. 2019 Kylo Ren Mystery Mini. Nice. Yeah, of course, Michael. I mean, is a medium. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep, the huge Galactus, definitely. It's got a little uh, removable Silver Surfer. Yeah, right? So we are running through the end of the night right now. We are down to, the, like, the last dozen items. We have one more display box left. We got a couple more minis. We got one pop. We got some pocket pops left. We have sold a lot of pops tonight. We've got a lot of minis, a lot of pocket pops, a lot of t-shirts. We blasted through every t-shirt that I had tonight. All the hats are gone, everything. So let's do nice. I know it would be great if that saber glowed, right? Yeah, right. Exactly. What's up, Googs? How's it going? We're just running through the last 12 items for the night. And let me turn the turnstile on here. Metal Monkey is taking home the Kylo Ren. Very nice. All right. Let's keep running. Let's keep running these. Let's run the Black Panther. So this is the Black Panther little pocket pop without a hole in the top. There he is right there. And this is classic comic Black Panther. All of the minis that I have left tonight are going to be classic comic characters. I have Black Black Widow, Gamora, and Spider Gwen left. We ran through all the other minis that I, other pocket pops that I had. We have an All Might, a Slimer, and a Tomato Head left. So let's start this one off at a dollar, and we'll do yeah, Mini Stormtrooper for sure. What's up, Lunar? How's it going? Jay, how's it going? Elias, how's it going? Welcome back. We are just rounding out our out of box pop and out of box mini auction tonight, and all of our out of box apparel. Blasting this stuff out tonight because we don't need any of it. Nice. They did. They also made a oogie boogie soda glow, which was the common. Beebs with the win right there. Look at that. Taking the Black Panther home. Again, classic comic Black Panther. Speaking of classic comic Black Panther, next Thursday I'm doing a comic auction. It's going to be all modern comics. I got a full short box ready to go. I got runs. I got graphic novels. Everything has been rebagged and boarded. And I have two classic Black Panther comics from the 70s, I believe, that are going to be in that auction as well. Beebs taking home the Black Panther. So be on the lookout for that. Next week there's going to be some fire comics in there. Like I said, graphic novels, the whole shebang. Here is – let's do Slimer. So this Slimer is – from the cereal box, again, he is a pocket pop without a hole in the top. And this Slimer is a GameStop exclusive. He is from the Ghostbusters 35th anniversary. It was only dropped, like I said, through GameStop. And it came with green cereal, which tasted just like all the other cereals. It tasted like um, simple syrup poured on burnt, or not burnt toast, I would say just really hard toast. It's like, I almost break your teeth today, cereal. <laughs> 
So anybody who bought cereal tonight, I do not advise eating the cereal. You might break your teeth. They did mix those up. Or maybe they didn't. I don't really know. <clears throat> because there are other ones, too, that they did that, too, as well. Um, where, they, where, they, where they mixed up the chase and the common. And the common was almost better than the chase. I'm trying to think off the top of my head, or, or at least look at my collection over here. Uh, yeah, I know the ad icon cereals, the cereal guys. I like the commons better than the chases for sure. Right now, we got a slimer up here. Again, this is for a GameStop exclusive from the Funko cereal box. I'm blasting these things out tonight, getting these all out of here. We don't need any of it. They're all extras. Get them their final homes with you guys. Darth Mar with the snipe. Iron Lion, what's happening? <clears throat> Darth Mar taking it. All right. Let me get that guy off there. And let's throw up Gamora next. So this is actually <clears throat> Comic Gamora. Pocket pop without a hole in the top. So let's pop her up there. There she goes around the turnstile. And this one was from the GameStop. Or was this from the game? It's from the Marvel 80 Years calendar. So that's where all of these comic, classic comic characters come from. If you want to watch me and B Cobb over here on YouTube, we're playing with Just Call Me D. We're playing some Warzone. I got that screen shared with the actual stream itself on YouTube. We just hit the three-hour mark for the auction, which is great because we're just rolling down to the last six items or so. So, Let's do – we'll delete this one. We'll delete this one. We already ran that one. And then those all look right. Okay, cool. Hogan taking the Gamora Mystery Mini. Yeah, hey, there's Cobb. He's in the chat. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, that's Lee Stack for sure. That's a that's a really good soda. That's the lowest run soda there is. That's a sick soda. Whoever got the Lee Stack Chase is just roll, rolling in themselves for sure. That's like. It, overnight instant grail for any soda collector, which is crazy. Like, how? I mean, it, what was it going for over twelve hundred dollars? Like, it's almost going for more than the Freddy one right now. Um, I saw HR Puff and stuff. The the chase that I pulled for like fourteen fifty on eBay, but then there was also one on there for like six hundred dollars. So, but there's only three of them on there. So when the six hundred dollar one sells, the only ones left are going to be the ones that are over a thousand. So. Yeah, right? We got Spider-Gwen right now. She is a pocket pop without a hole in the top. So, again, another one of those classic comic characters right there. I dig them. And these are from an extra mis or pocket pop advent calendar that I got from – because I got one from GameStop and I got one from, uh, I think, Target. And I opened this one on the channel for 20, 2019, or I think I did it on twenty nine in twenty nineteen. So, yeah, let me check out some of the ones we got left here. Uh, so next ones I have left. Here's what I have left, everybody. I got a tomato head pop, all might mini. We got Black Widow, and I got another Universal Mystery mini box. Nice, Spider Gwen is gone. Perfect. Get her out of here. All right, let's do this all night next. We'll do. So we already got rid of all of our My Hero Academia minis tonight. Here is All Might. We got rid of a lot of anime stuff tonight, which is cool because we know there's anime fans out there. Here is All Might right here again, just a regular old mystery mini. From 2020, My Hero Academia, $1, one minute. Fetty Pop, what's happening? Welcome back. 
our guzman welcome 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 back to another auction cloud how's it going jojo welcome back again we got all might mini right here tonight we we're running all pops minis and apparel out of box only out of box stuff tonight we had just over 100 items tonight that we ran through um everything was out of box like if it was out of box it was removed from a diorama or something or it was a custom that i did or he was using it for a custom or something but i no longer need it so get him some homes you know what i'm saying i know they still haven't shipped that damn thing to me forces strong i'm still waiting for that damn thing to ship i know elias taking the all my mini for two bucks good deal dude All right, Elias. Let me take that. Put that over there with your pile. The rest of your stuff. All right, let's run the Black Widow. She is a pocket pop. I'm just going to stand her up there. She's a pocket pop without a hole in the top. Um, there she is, Black Widow, 2019 advent calendar marvel 80 years so last one i have tonight from the 80 years collection is this black widow from the extra advent calendar that i had and again she's classic comic black widow if you're into that classic comic look scoop her up she is here for you darth mar welcome back mockingbird how's it going welcome looks like we got three items left that i'm going to be running here and then we got the mixed salad, which isn't going to be much, but that's okay. That's okay. Those of you not familiar with the mixed salad, it is the end of the night auction where everything that has not had any bids on them get tossed in one pile and I run everything together because everything must go. We don't want anything to run over to the next auction. It's all got to go now. Hogan with the snipe on the Black Widow. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Boo with the snipe on the Black Widow. Taking her home for four bucks. Very, very cool. We do got some items here for the mixed salad, and we're going to be running that one in about two listings. Nice. The Black Widow is gone. I'll put that in your pile of items. All right. Let's run this. Let's run this last box that I got. This is the Walgreens exclusive box for the Universal Mystery, Universal Studios Monsters Mystery Minis. That's a tongue twister. We'll start that one at a dollar. Again, if you've made a purchase tonight, you buy the box for a buck or two bucks, and you could put your pop pez in it. I like to use these to put pop pez in them. You can fit three across and about five five deep. So you can get about fifteen pez in this one box. That's what I like using these for. These are just some extra ones that I actually have laying around, and I wanted to see if they were going to sell. And actually, we've sold more than half of the ones that I put out tonight. So um, let's get this Universal Monsters box gone. Nice. Big download, I bet. Just the box. Exactly. Yeah, it's, a collect it's just a box for collectors. It's from 2019. You can't get it anymore. This is the Walgreens exclusive box. Um, some people like to store stuff in them. People have bought all the ones that we've sold tonight. We only have two more left, actually. The Fantastic Four and the Ad Icons one. What's it worth? It's not really worth anything, I guess. It's really what it's worth to you. I mean, most collectors like to put these on the shelf to display stuff. I mean, I put sodas in them. I have tons of these things. I have the zombie ones. I got the black light ones. I got all these different ones. But some people like to put the, like I said, like to put things in them, like sodas or pop pez. Me, me particularly, I like to put sodas, pez, and, you know, whatever. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And it's a you know you know mystery minis. Jeremy Ward taking home the Universal Monsters mystery. Like I said, if you make multiple purchases tonight, like you pay a dollar for that, you don't have to pay shipping on that, which is great. You know what I mean? So let's do the last pop of the evening. A really cool one. He has got a large pizza cutter. This is Tomato Head from Fortnite. Exactly. If I, exactly. I got tons of those things, Jeremy. <clears throat> the ones that fit pops in them, I put pops in them. The ones that are small, I usually put sodas or pop pez in them. And I mean, it really it helps protect the pop pez uh, when you put them in there. So it's a win win. <clears throat> so we got Tomato Head here. Uh, any more mystery minis? Dynamite Dom? No, sir. That is the end of that. 
We got the mixed salad next, and that's it. Mixed salad, and that is it. And I'm going to edit that. Three or two boxes. <clears throat> That one, and then, yes. All right, cool. Nice. Four seconds left on the tomato head. Someone's taking them home. Jeremy Ward's taking them home. Nice, Jeremy Ward taking it home. The tomato head. All right. We got the last one of the evening. We're going to do the mixed salad right now, and that is going to be the last item that we got for the evening. This is going to be everything that we didn't sell tonight. I'm going to put those over here. I'm going to get my turnstile out of the way. And everything must go. There's no reason to roll stuff over to another auction. That's why it's here in this auction. So take it home. Take it for a dollar. I don't, it don't matter to me. So we got actually two of the most premium boxes that it actually did have available tonight. We have the Target exclusive Fantastic Four Mystery Mini Box with the backer board. And we got the Ad Icons box with the backer board as well. Two fire boxes. For you collectors out there, if you like ad icons, this is the box for you. Fantastic Four, this is the box for you. Again, Target exclusive on that one. You're going to run both these together. These are the only two things that did not sell tonight. We're going to run the mixed salad. It's going to be two boxes, Fantastic Four and the ad icon box. Again, scoop this up for a dollar. Store some stuff in here, Funko-wise. These are the, the ones that I actually had the backer boards for, so take them home. Are any of the pops out of box worth anything? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And some people were buying pops tonight because they had them in the box and they wanted them out of the box. So they bought duplicates. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So again, mixed salad, last auction for the night. We got two display boxes. We got the Fantastic Four Target exclusive version with the backer board with Galactus on it. It's even got Galactus hidden down in there. And we have the Ad Icon one with that nice vintage wallpaper design. Again, mixed salad, everything that did not sell, which were these two boxes. So take them home for a buck tonight. Add them to your order if you've already bought something. Scoop them up and get them in and add your order. You've already paid the shipping. Might as well have them on there. Papa Missouri taking them. Nice. All in your mouth. Welcome back, man. Nice. Thanks for coming again to another auction. Appreciate you. Papa Missouri taking the last auction. Ooh, Dynamite Dom taking the snipe on that one. Again, we got the Ad Icons mystery mini box. Again, add this to your order tonight. For a few bucks and get yourself some nice display boxes to put yourself some pop pez, whatever you want in there. Dynamite Dom taking it tonight. Nice. Wait, let's uh you don't have to check that one out actually. What's good, bro? Did you have a good auction? Yeah, it was a great auction. We just here rolled over about three hours and fifteen minutes tonight. Uh surfer check, welcome. Uh we got rid of everything tonight. The mixed salad tonight was this right here with the last two boxes. So very, very cool. Anybody got any last questions tonight? Uh, for me because we're going to end the we'll tie the auction off here. I appreciate everybody stopping by tonight. If anybody has any questions about anything tonight? Like I said, if you had any errors or anything tonight in regards to getting double charged for shipping or anything in regards to administrative errors with the app, contact support at whatnot.com. Shoot them over an email, let them know exactly what happened. Last auction, I had somebody got charged twice for something and they instantly took care of it for them. So, any errors tonight? Again, support at whatnot.com. You got any questions for me? Let me know. Uh, all your stuff, you bought multiple things tonight. They're all going to ship together. I mean, obviously, I'm going to ship everything beautifully for you. It's going to be wrapped. If you bought boxes tonight, that those will be shipped, obviously, with your stuff and oversized boxes as well. So any questions you got, drop them in the chat. Yeah, right? I mean, might, might as well get rid of some of these out-of-box things. Absolutely. Nice. Thank you so much, MB. Appreciate you. And anybody followed me tonight, I'll hop on tomorrow, and I'll follow you all back. Don't you worry about that. And again, next next auction, all in your mouth, is going to be next Thursday. It's going to be modern comics. It's going to be basically 1985 to current day comics. I got runs of comics. We got keys. I got graphic novels. Everything has been reboarded and bagged in Ultra Pro sleeves. I mean, everything is ready to go for next week. I got a short box full of comics. And if that comic auction goes good, we'll do some more. I got over 2,000 comics in my collection, so we could do comic auctions for a whole year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. Uh, if you guys if you guys want to come check me out next week, I'll be doing a comic auction. Same place, same time, Thursday after or Thursday evening. Um, after dinner, come check me out. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, Michael. 
Again, any questions you got, drop them in here in the chat. Let me know. Other than that, any admin issues, hit up support at whatnot.com. Thank you, everybody, who stopped by tonight. Appreciate you so much. Thanks for all the support. and Everybody stayed in here tonight. Thanks for coming by. No questions. Have a good evening, everybody. Yep, and that, and then, and that one.